So anyway, Map Imperium, uh, we're just going to go down the list. It's made, it's made with three dice in, in hand and a piece of paper and a pencil. Paper is Wonder Draft. Pen is my mouse. And uh, and that's all there is to it. So I'm using uh, Wonder Draft over here by Megasplute is my is my paper here. And uh, I've done some things online. I've messed around with uh, some stuff that, that um, I think that work okay. I've seen a couple of these done online. I think Roll20 might be the best if you're doing this with like a group of folks. It's not good, but it might be the most uh, able to be used. And I realize this is kind of small. I'm on a 4K screen, and it's probably going to go looking a little funny. So just just listen to me talk, and I'll, I'll, we'll get there. Um, anyway, I've gone through all this basic stuff before, but I'll, I'll run over the, the things that are different. Um, but essentially, we're going to take this thing, we're going to divide it into equal parts. I'm going to do a two-player game. Um, oh, you know what? I've always done two-player games. Should we do a three-player if I do three, it'll be a little longer. Do you want a longer one of these, or do you want a shorter one? I would say it's probably about two hours for a two-person, a two-sided game. It might be might be closer to two and a half or three, if we do a three. You up for a three-person one? I think maybe we should maybe we should do that. <clears throat> God, one's shorter. Mm -mm. Hey, thanks, thanks, Emily. Uh, I think I, sh I should have a bot coming in here and yelling, yelling that out as well. Um, yeah, I kind of want to try a three-person. I've, I've never, I've done them like in person, but I've never done it like here. And I think I kind of want to show it off. So let's do that. So uh, I've gotten pretty comfortable with Wonder Draft here, so I'll do what I can uh, and kind of speed this thing along. So I'll move kind of quick, but um, you'll, you'll, you'll hang on. So we're gonna do a little path here to kind of separate these. They don't have to be equal, you know. It doesn't really matter. But we're basically just separating. Oops. We're separating the, uh, I sit here, I say that as I screw up Wonder Draft, um, in the three quadrants. So at the start of the game, the first, I'd say the first half of the game, everyone is in their own zone. So we're going to pretend there's three people playing. There's just me. If it's just a single player, we've got three major empires is really what's going on. Domin is still a little loud. Here we go. Music okay now. So we'll start with the uh, with, with the top left. We'll go top right, and then go to bottom, and then we'll, we'll draw sort of a map. Looks kind of like kind of like this. I know it's kind of small. Uh, I guess I can adjust that. And so you'll end up with something like this. You get di your dividing line. You've got a couple different islands. Uh, you've got some nations and and minor things and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that's that's what's going on there. I'm going to leave this over here on the side though. So we start out with arrow one. Arrow one creation. Let's build ourselves a world. So everyone is going to roll. Uh, uh, 1d6 and see how many islands they have on each thing. Now, there's an alternate rule, which I'm going to do today because I, I like the way it looks when we do this. And that is the all players will subtract one island from their results and will place one massive continent in the middle. So it's going to be more of a centralized thing rather than having them kind of out in their own stuff. So you're still going to stick to your own sector. I call it home region in the game. But yeah. So I got my handy, handy dandy dice over here. So we're going to go ahead and roll it. Oops. If I can figure that out. So player one, who's gonna be what what's the name for uh, top left over here? He's gonna get four small islands. So let's let's start drawing. So we know that one of them's gonna be in the center here. So we're gonna just take one of these four small ones and like just sort of like stick it there. You know what? Just like that. There's one island. It'll all kind of be kind of connected up here somewhere. Slices like a pizza. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the door slayer, how's it going? Uh let's go. So there's one. We'll put another one. Let's do another one like over here. Um, you know what? Uh, yeah, yeah. One, two. We'll stick another one, like, right over this way. Doesn't really matter. We'll, we'll adjust some things here in a minute. And then we're gonna, we're gonna agree, uh, left guy and bottom guy, they're gonna, they're gonna share another island. A little small guy right over here. Just a couple little, just some little small islands. A whole lot of extra open water space on this guy. So remember, that one's, that one's gonna be the, the joint one. This is also gonna join with the bottom guy. Uh, number two is going to roll. How do I do? How do I do a roll? Not, not, not that way. Oh, so that makes it go away. How, where's my roll button? Ah, found it. Roll. Can we call him Al. Al, Al and Betty. Hey, Wild Hartley and Dort. Yeah, thanks for all the follows. So four for player player right. We gotta stick with something. So left starts with an L. Larry. Left is Larry. Right is. Rhett, Rich, hey Shul, how's it going? 
Uh, anyway, four. So we got two medium islands. Remember, one of them's donated into the middle here. So we're going to uh, build one medium island connected to this little guy over this way. Something like that. That's a medium island. We have two medium islands. So there's one there. And we'll just have one kind of like connected up over this way. I'll, I'll pretty these things up here in a minute. But there's our two islands. <clears throat> Sonia for the south. Excellent. So we got Larry, Rhett, and Sonia. I like it. I like it. Okay, so player number three is going to give us uh, two medium islands as well. So let's go do that. So we got one medium islands. And look at that. We got one big continent now. Like that. And you can kind of still see the path. It's kind of hard to see. But it's it's there. And so it's, it's enough. As, as long as it's recognizable, it's fine. Let's put like a little bay in here. We'll pretty things up here in a minute. Uh, and then one more medium island, which we'll scoot on. Oh, yeah. I got to connect to this one, right? So we'll do this. Like this. Okay. There we go. <laughs> North, South, and Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. So, player left, uh, Larry, has a, a tiny area to build on. So, we'll see how that goes. Now, we'll pretty some things up. Uh, let's go some of this and raise some grounds here. One thing about this, uh, this eastward one, it does have kind of some weird little artifacty things. Which, which I'm not real uh, keen on, but we'll uh, we may change it here. You kind of see how the shore looks kind of funny. I'll show you. We zoom in here. You see how the shore has this kind of weird little look going on. I'm not real. Um, I shouldn't have done that. How am I supposed to? I had it all centered, all nice, and then I went and ruined it. Like that we can change how rough it is and all that, but it's fine. We'll just do this. So we'll stick with we'll stick with our uh, our sides here. So there's Larry's over here drawn on this side. Uh, huh. What does name generator do? What? 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 Let me see that. Put a little tail out there. We'll have to do this one. Here we go. So, it's just, uh, just fill them in. I'll add some little lakes and things and bays and stuff, but it's just color and time, you know? Wonder Draft is a fantastic program. He, uh, the dev, I mentioned this before, um, I think it's a dev team. I think it's like a husband-wife dev team. I think who does this? Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I've spoken with them a little bit. Um, and they also have another one called Dungeon Draft that is more of like a localized kind of thing where you can like zoom in on on um, like, a, like a forest or a dungeon, you know, Dungeon Draft, that kind of thing. Um, and um, uh, yeah, it, it's pretty neat as well. And there's lots of there's a lot of different uh, sprites. I don't know, um, I'm not sure what the word is for it. Not sprites, but whatever um, things that you can add in here, like mountains and forests and things. And there's all kinds of things the community has made to um, to 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 add to that. You can add new stuff in there. I'm gonna try to keep things pretty simple today because we do have three, so we'll keep it you know moving along. And so for most of my cities, I'm not gonna do like any sort of artsy thing. I'm just gonna stick like little dots down. I think it'll look good in the end though. Mm -mm. Am I honoring the name generation offerings this stream? Did you add it in there? Is there a name? There isn't one in there, is there? Unless you add one. Okay, now we're going to kind of... Let's put some bays and things in here. It's there. Oh, okay. Sure. I'll, yeah, I'll honor it. As long as it's not... As long as it is family friendly. And, um... Well, you know, family friendly. Just leave it. Just leave it at that. Some bays in here. There we go. Um, moderated list. Excellent. Okay, sure. Something like that. And um, I think I want a little bit more. Like, I got my bay in there. I don't like it. Okay. Okay. I will. I will. Um, one thing I did before when I played this is I did a lot of of re-rolling of things. And I've tried to modify the rules a bit. Those of you that have seen the early versions, I've tried to modify it a bit to where um, there's less of that. Um, so that, like, you know what? You gotta you make sure you appease the dice gods. You don't, don't want to make them angry. You don't want to go re-rolling a whole bunch of stuff. If they say you blow up a city, you blow up a city. Family-friendly town. 
Thanks, Master Leaf. Was that a thousand points? How much that cost? That's a lot. That's too much. Um. Hmm. Let me see. Oh, you know one thing I was gonna do actually. I'm gonna move myself over here. I think what I might do is. Oh, I'm behind that. I might. When I move this over to YouTube, I might make it um. Just like a like a uh, uh, um fast uh, time lapse. So we'll see. Uh, something like that. There we go. Uh, I gotta open that open that thing up then. Okay. Um. There we go. I'll keep this down here so I can see it somewhere. Yeah, I think I'm trying to get my face out of here so I can just kind of crop out the the world and have a time lapse of that. I think a thousand isn't that much. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe I don't watch enough Twitch because a thousand is a lot to me. Uh, for the, for the people that I watch, uh, I don't watch. I don't know. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna kind of clean up just just a little bit. It's got kind of like a cool looking dragony face. Oh, look at that. Check out that little island there. I like it. I think I messed it up. Okay, it's good. That's good enough. Um, you have 16,000 here? Well, you're always here, Emily. You don't count. <laughs> I just use the default ones. Can you adjust it? Or is it only me? Um, well, look at it. Uh, channel points. That was name generator. Let me, let me make a new one. I had a new custom reward. This is going to be... Um, Name something. I'll put it in Mappa Imperium. Am I next to it? Uh, name something. It's gonna cost, how much? What's a good cost for this? He's ten thousand for name and game. Uh, One thousand point backseat pass. What does that mean? Yeah, uh, I'll take it. I'll take it five hundred. Five hundred's good. Okay. What color is it going to be? Uh, pink. Let me see if it sounds good. Okay, well, we'll cut the difference. 400. Viewers earn 220 per hour. Okay, so if I do 400, that means you're only going to get, like, two votes in. Well, unless you've been here for a while. Oh, subs get two times, though. All right, that'll work. That'll work. 400, sure. Okay. So it... it there you go. It's called name something dash mi. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you, Ellen. Okay. So, uh, so there's our land masses are done. So era one creation done, um, and we have ourselves a central continent. Uh, at one point two, we have geography. So this is uh, we're gonna roll two six sided dice. Each player is gonna do this, and we're gonna consult the table, uh, and. In the table, can they say something? What it is? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hang on. <laughs> can they say what uh, what it is they're naming? Uh, <laughs> one second. One second. Um, require you to enter text. Oh, there's a button I'm supposed to push. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, can you um? Say <laughs> thank you. I'm gonna keep you busy today, Emily. <laughs> Okay, okay. We got it figured out now. No, okay. It should be good now. Now, now you're good. <laughs> All right. Where, where are we at? Uh, we're at arrow 1.2. I'm looking at the... After the list, just click the complete button when you've used it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, uh, 1.2, geography. We're going to roll two six-sided dice, and, uh, and we're going to consult this thing eight times. I'm just going to go... We're going to go Larry first, and Larry's going gonna to roll eight times. There's a couple different ways of doing this that I've seen some other folks do, where you just make, make a notepad and just write them all down and then do it. But I'm just going to do it as as it flies. So, uh, I'm kind of in the way of the dice, aren't I? You can see... Uh, move myself a little bit more. I don't know where to, I don't know where to sit myself. Uh, I'm just unprepared for this stream. I'm sorry. Um, there you go. <laughs> uh, I'll 
probably right, right, right in the middle. There we go. Okay, you can see them both now, can't you? It's perfectly fine. Um, uh, yeah, hopefully we get a, uh, a swamp for the Blackwood Swamps. But it, maybe it was a swamp at one time. All right, so we've got a, a tin, which is a jungle. So let's go make ourselves a jungle. Now, we're going to pull in here into the uh, into this, the uh, the symbols, pull up some trees, and get ourselves a jungle, which I'm going to go with a nice jungly tree here. This is this guy over here, which, you know, there's plenty of places that can be jungly for him. I'm going to stick sort of equatory and get a jungle this way. I'll, we can touch this stuff up later on, which is one of the steps. So we'll do that. But we'll just make this a big jungle over here. Try to give me names for, uh, like, towns and empire names. Not necessarily, like, like not um, not place names. Because I probably won't use a lot of those. I mean, I'll use them if you give, if you give them to me. But um, talking about the town names are ones that we're going to be needing. Uh, Non-subs get 10 points every 5 minutes. Okay. So, a 3 is a, is a wetlands, which is a, a uh, that, that was a jungle, right? So, we got a swamp now. So, let's stick this guy in here. We'll go swampy in, um, like, right around, right around this way. A nice swampy swamp right this way. We'll put a couple trees in there. There we go. I may, may do some color in there to, to make, to make sure we know what that is. Um, all right, let's go roll again. The Clockwork Empire. All right, we got a five here. It is a lake. So I'm going to do that with just, just the land one and just take stuff away. Now, this is this is these guys. So we're going to put a lake, like, right here in the middle. Now, they're only working on their, on their spot. So we'll try to keep it, you know, on their spot. So, and also on these, um, I know sometimes this might be a little bit... Um, confusing but this this is uh this is like the major stuff so we'll come in and put little lakes and all that kind of stuff in in there uh in time <clears throat> all right so, um we gotta get three which is another another wetlands for these guys so that was one two this is that was three there's number four we gotta get eight of these so another wetlands let's go give them a a uh one of these let's take a sir a swamp can go this way also very, very swampy over here. Okay, that was number four. Number five. Which is an eight. Which is a mountain. Um, maybe like this little edge right over here would be a mountain range. I'm not putting a lot of thought into it. I'm just sort of throwing things in there. Just, um, just to get them in there. I've learned kind of with Wonder Draft one thing. A little nice, a nice uh, I don't know if it's a tip or what, but that has, has made my mountain ranges things look a little better is uh, varying sizes of mountains. Which seems obvious, but it wasn't obvious to me when I first did it. So we go we got a nice nice mountain range on, on the on the back side over there. Yeah. The Razor Mountains. Nice. Okay. Ooh, there's a bunch in here already. Okay, so um let's go. That was number what was that? That was six, right? One, two, three, four, five. That was five. Number six. Is a canyon. Okay. It's tough with these little guys. We have a spot down here we can put things though. So let's go back into I think it's in the this one? Yeah, this one. Let's grab a canyon. Which I think they're at the top, aren't they? Yeah. So let's get my canyon at. Where is it? Is it tiny? Hello. There it is. Okay. Let's go with... Uh, yeah, let's, let's take a canyon like right over here somewhere. And... You know, I want to go in that guy's square. So let's keep it, keep it this side. As much as I can. As much as I can. There we go. And like that. There we go. So we, we, we blood over just a little, just a little bit. Don't tell that other guy. Don't tell, don't tell Sally. She gets angry. Okay, like a little one right over there. Okay, uh, not that, not that one. That, that's fine. That's good. That's a nice canyon. Okay, now uh, we got one more, right? 
At least you can see my you can see my result here. So that's fine. Yeah, I got a big list I, I can see over here. Okay, so we've got a river. About time. Okay, so let's get uh, a river. And I think I kind of want it to be. Where do I want this river to be? Like the lake could could go out around here, but I want a, a big river. Um. Could start in the mountains and sort of work our way this way over this way. Let's do this one. So we'll have one go up here and sort of work its way this way and kind of flow out like here. A couple tributaries in there. There. Okay, there we go. We got uh, ourselves a river. How <laughs> power of the Necronomicon. The Mithril River. That's nice. That's good. Um, okay, you know what? So, uh, so that is that is Larry. Um, I'll take a couple of these names real quick because some of them are, are popping up are looking really good. I'm gonna keep everything. I'm gonna try to keep everything on a on a similar um, name style. I always spend too much time diddling with this, so I'm gonna go with like town, and this will be like our um, our feature name. So we'll see how this goes. I want it to be. A reasonable one that we can read. A little bit got a little bit of a curve to it. I think that this English italic is is kind of good for labels. We'll do like that. Give it a little bit of a um, a little bit of that. And this is the the Blackwood Swamps right over there. Okay. Uh, complete. Uh, we have more dare for a town. The Crumbly Fjords. Uh, we might... Oh, you know what? That's actually pretty good for these mountains here. Like, mount, mountains go with fjords, right? I think so. Um, we'll see if we find... You know what? Before I do any more of this, let's find some more things. Um, there's Razor Mountains. Okay, I'll take the Razor Mountains. Razor Mountains. If we find a better spot for the fjord, we'll do it. For now, we'll just do this one. Is the music loud enough? Can everyone hear it all right? <laughs> okay. Um, let's go move on to... There's a couple... Oh, yeah, mark that one. We'll move over to the... Uh, to Rhett over here. Who's going to do the same thing eight times. Can't you hear the music? Is there music? So, <laughs> Well, I can hear it. There you go. <laughs> okay. Can you hear it now? All right, we got a four, which is a hill. All right, good. We don't have any hills yet. So let's grab some hills, which are going to be like... Um, um, these are actually pretty nice, these little brushed guys. As long as they're small, they're pretty good. So this is this guy. Let's throw them in right up here. Add a little bit of color to this. We'll add more colors here in, in time, but for now. That's a little range of hills. Pop in there. Undulating plains. Okay, okay. Uh, eight, which is a, uh, a mountain. Uh, this is this is the guy who's got all kinds of range uh, room for things. So I think what I'm going to do is put a mountain range. Let's do something like this guy. This is a good mountain range, uh, like right here in the middle, a nice a nice spine of of mountains. My my map is pretty big, and so it's gonna be kind of small. I hope does it look okay on the stream? It's I don't know how how the resolution is going to look with this. like that and then we'll kind of feed it over this way a nice a nice spiny mountain range looking great on stream okay good Something like like that um, oh you know what i used the wrong one didn't i let's feed some of these these big guys there we go that's that's thought something was missing some of these snow cap guys oh that's a big guy oh yeah big guy big guy right right there somebody give that guy a name Okay. 
<clears throat> or a little small map, maximize the fair UV. Yeah, and then when I'm done with this, I'll make sure I, I share this on my Discord in, in all its um, giant size glory. Um, it's 8x10 size, so I thought, you know, if this looks comes out looking really good, I'll, I'll see if we can print something out of this. Um, we'll see how it looks. But that was number two. Let's get number three for uh, for Rhett here. Uh, Rhett has some hi more hills. Rhett likes hills. So we'll give Rhett some more, more hills. And uh, I think this is... Well, you know, we'll just like, go this way. So I, I've... Uh, of all the different programs I've used that, that are similar to this, like Wonderdraft and, and Incarnate is the other one. Incarnate has a free version. Um, and so you can do a lot of this with Incarnate, but it, it doesn't give you much with the free version. And what I've, what I've dabbled with Incarnate, I'm a little bit more of a fan of Wonderdraft. Plus, Incarnate also has a subscription thing. You can't just... Um, uh, oh, Hydrate! When did that come through? I missed it. I gotta, I gotta get rid of that one. It's gonna make me have to pee. Okay, there's three. And then number four. <laughs> number six is a river. Okay, okay. Let's go put a river in here. I think I want to go. So we're going to have like a desert on this side. This is desert, you know, all that kind of stuff. So let's go with a river this way out of these hills. This is this is big river time. We'll get little ones later on. This is, um, you know, Amazon and Nile and that kind of stuff. That's what we're feeding in with this, this one. Like that. Okay, number five. Wall print of the maps. Yeah. That's right. I got I got a merch store now, so now I got to figure out uh, what to put on it. <laughs> uh, let's make a lake. Um, well, you know what? A lake, like a mountain, that'd be all right. Would be probably on the other side. But you want over here? We can put one over this way. Let's stick one right in this little spot right there, like that. Okay, uh, number six. We have a two, which is a savanna. Okay, so savannas are kind of tricky with this, with this, uh, with Wonder Draft here. I don't have any right things for it. Um, savannas are basically just a big plains. So I'll stick uh, some of these guys in here, and we'll we'll do something like like over here. Sort of savanna like. It's kind of looks like the swamp too. Well, we'll color it and make it look a little better. Throw some trees in there though. Not palm trees. Throw the occasional savanna like tree in there. To give it a savanna like look. Like the drowned king. Okay, so this is number six. Which is a nine, which is a desert. Excellent. That's what I was wanting. Okay, so desert, we can get some cactus. We'll throw them in right over here. This is the nice desert over this way. Leads into this savanna. And you know what? Let me do just a little a little coloring. And get something a little more deserty for that. A little too green, isn't it? Maybe like um, like that. There we go. That's deserty. Maybe a little too bright. Okay, and we'll go with the the little bit greener one for the savanna. There you go. Just a little bit, a little bit of color. That's a, that's a very long post, <laughs> Jeffrey. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more here, also with the um, the the jungle. Then we had some swamps over here, also. I'm just adding color so I remember what they are. Then need a good mountain range looking one. Just kind of darken this a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, so there, uh, we got one more, I think, right? <laughs> okay, let's roll one more. So we have a four, which is another hill. All right, that's everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is eight. This is number eight, uh, which is another hill. So let's get the hills. And I think I'll do... Um, stick with the same kind of hills. 
Yeah, it's fine. Um, continue that one, or we can put something. Let's put something over here. A lot of nothing going on this way. Or like that. Okay, Some hills over there. Okay, so now we got. Uh, um, who was it? Um, Susan. Who's in, who's who's down here? Susan. I don't remember. Uh, we have mountains. I haven't. I really. I've rot rolled a seven this entire time. How is that possible? All right, mountains. It is for the south. Um, uh, I think we're gonna put it on the bottom here. Almost some like, yeah, yeah, some for forbidding, foreboding mountains along the south. Something like that, kind of, yeah, 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 like uh, that in there. Okay, so was it Sonia in the south? Okay, Sonia. A nine, the desert. I, I, I'm. I surely I will get a, a forest in here somewhere. I have to get a forest. Let's go with a desert. You know what kind of goes with like right in here where this canyon is? Yeah, yeah. Let's desert this up a little bit. Um, we also have this whole range here too. So we'll. Uh, you know. Um. I. I changed my mind. Hmm. I changed my mind. I want my desert to be over here in this little area this way. We have a that's right, that's right. Well, it's fine. Like that. And then we'll paint in a desert. Over here. Okay. That was number two. Number three, we have an 11, which is a canyon again. So let's roll a canyon up. Uh, we could just continue this thing and just make it one giant canyon. Let's stick it right over here. It'd be a little cooler to have it kind of tucked away on the on the edge of the mountains here. Flip you around? Um, kind of. Whoops. That and these canyons are cool, but they don't really work real well. Like that, and yeah, that, that kind of works. That worked. It's just a it's a little divot there. Okay, so that was one, two, three. Run on four. Is a wetlands another swamp? So let's let's get swampy. Um, right, uh, right, right along here. This way. I'm gonna paint it a little swampy as well, so I remember. There we go. If you're right, yeah, if you could, yeah, spin them around with him, it would be a lot better. I agree. Number five is a uh, another mountain range. Uh, I've got to get a forest. Normally, I end up with too many forests, and <laughs> here I am with more forests. So we could just continue this thing. Be one giant mountain range that that goes like on this side as well, like over uh, over here somehow. It spins over this way also. Why not? What a mountain range. We have a good mountain range for this one? We have uh, we have, we have the Razor Mountains there. We need a, a nice spine of Untinti or something, you know? Run this way. Let me get some of these non-snowy ones. Just kind of sprinkle them in here. Here we go. The Garou Forest. 
If we get a forest. Yep, not yet. One, two, three, four, five. Number six was a uh, was another desert. Um, okay, so uh, the game really wants me to have a desert, right, right in here. I need to I need to get some more symbols for um, deserts. That's one thing I don't have a lot of. Not real happy with the ones they have in here. Not, not the best. Hey, Bolinius, thanks for following. Like that. So I want to paint those those yellow. So let's do uh, maybe a little bit of brown in there. Ooh, is that too brown? Um, no, nah, I think it's probably all right actually. I'm gonna have to fix the uh, the land down there though. Okay, we'll go all the way to the bottom here. There we go. Okay. Is that... Oh, wrong button. Ah. Ah. That, and then we'll come up this way a little bit. Okay. A little color in there. We get a little color to uh, to our mountains, our hills over here. Uh, oh, I don't want to do that. I think I want to... Hmm... So that's not really that. I think I want to go with like a greenish for up here. Let me get like a little bit of a gray in there. Maybe that could be, um, I don't know, we'll figure it out. We'll just do that for now. We'll see what I get. Uh, and I had uh, one or two more down here for the for for for. So, <laughs> what's her name? So Sonia. Sonia. Uh, with a nine, another desert. So many deserts. But I'm not. I'm not changing. I'm not. No re rolls allowed. This is. This is the dice. The dice gods have decided that there's lots and lots of deserts down here in the south. It's very hot down here. Maybe this isn't the. Maybe this isn't the southern pole. It's. It's just. It's the hot place uh, and let's go with uh, more more of this more yellows in there to uh, to desert it up okay the sunlands that's a good one I like it uh, and I got one more right uh, one two three four five six. Six, seven. This is the last one. Please give me a forest. <laughs> I went the entire with no forest in the entire game. Okay, so we'll have to add in a little. We'll add in with uh, one point three. I don't know if you can see it over here, is touching up, which is touching up, fill in the gaps, uh, add little uh, tiny islands, uh, small groves of trees, minor rivers. So we'll. It works fine. It's fine that the um, the dice guys decided that trees were illegal. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we, we can do little bits of it. Maybe there's something with our... Maybe some story with our world of why there is no mountain or no forest around. But let's go and put in another mountain range. I guess I could do, um, like, right in here or up this way. This one's kind of barren. Or we could cover around, come around this way and this would be a whole deserty area over here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's do, like... I, th I think I, I kind of like the idea... Of having a sort of um, Mount Doom kind of uh, um, you know thing going on here with uh, with with this. Don't go, don't go in the water. And Larry says, "You know what, Sonia? If you want to come into my territory a little bit, it's just a, just a smidgen, but no more than that." Right over there, right on that canyon there. Okay. The dice gods decided that trees were illegal. Oh, <laughs> no, God, I'm gone. <laughs> All right, so now it's touch-up time. Now, um, we're going to put a few, yeah, just a few trees in here. Uh, we'll put, you know, just, just a little, little, a few little groves of trees. 
there's a lake here, but we'll just just a just a couple. We're not gonna carry it away though because um, the game doesn't like trees. The trees are the worst. There's no elves in this land. Well, we don't know yet. There's some, there may be a few trees over there. We'll put a few of them around this little spot here, just like the watery spots, you know. I may mix up my trees also. Let's get some. Um, what's a good one? Uh, I kind of like these. Sort of like tucked in along here. Nothing, no forest, just a couple little groups of trees. I know the dice gods said no trees, and I've, I'm cheating. Um, but you know, it's it's there's no there's no forests. They're just little groves. Little little groves of trees. Okay. Just little little groves of trees. Nothing, just a little touch up. Just little. Um, tiny, tiny. Hey, thanks, Bot Ross. <laughs> Let's go for some, uh, some little trees over, like, right on the edge over here, just for, just for something. And then, um, let's see, let's go, yeah, right over here. A couple little patches. No forests. Some blinky going on over here, I'm going to fix that. Mm -mm. I say how a fancy world would operate with no trees. Yeah, I know. I um, it is kind of interesting, isn't it? So we have a jungle, so we do have we do have a few trees. We have, we have the one jungle in the game, which we can kind of make it come out a little bit further for uh, foresty bits. So okay, I mean that's fine. Um, let's go and do a little bit of. I'm gonna paint in just a little bit of uh, like, like you know, like little tiny islands or something, just to kind of add a little bit of, uh, of of something. Nothing for like, you know, just for looks. I don't spend too much time on this. I don't want to spend. Uh, I want to be. Uh, I like to go to bed sometime tonight. Put just some little islands in here, like that, and uh, and over here. And we got nothing over here, but we may, we may find more stuff. Our scouts haven't gone out yet. Since I started coloring this, I probably need to put a little more art into it. A little more color into the world. So we'll greenify some of the the coastal spots. Just to get a little bit of a better look here. Uh, it'll look alright on stream, though, from what I'm looking at. Greenify some of that in this side over here. Just a little bit of a touch up, and then we're getting to the next step is uh, is is the fun bits. We get to our our empire and our empires, and who lives in this place. Not a whole lot going on over here, but it's gonna be pretty green because that's where the river is. Got something like that. A couple little patches of green up here. It's a very very dead world though. Very. Uh, not not green world. There. Now let me get a little bit of this brown's no good. Let me get it darker. Barely in there. A little better. Okay. <clears throat> the ends cause a tree rebellion and move them all to the jungle. Everyone's going with this tree thing. I mean, we can do it. That's what the dice god said. They said there will be no trees. Fine, fine. I will go with it. I will go with it. I'll remove my trees that I added in. I'll go with it. There's like a, a tree or two here, and that's all we're gonna get. You stop that. I see you blinking over there. I'm gonna move just, just that guy there. Okay. Just a couple little patches of trees. Um There we go. Okay. 
which will make it will make uh, this jungle a very sought after place. There's no trees anywhere. There's wood. Uh, if this was Dwarf Fortress, the only place you could get a bed is in that forest. Is that everything I, I took? I put in. I think it is. So there's a couple uh, uh, lost, like a solo tree out there in the world every once in a while, uh, which is fine. And oops, I didn't want to erase that. I want to just change that from brown to not brown. Okay. This island's kind of kind of uh, boring up here. This one doesn't have a lot going on, but we'll find out here in a second. So there is uh, there is arrow one creation is not quite done. We gotta get resources. So we've got uh, we got three uh, three different resources each time. This is sort of just make up what you want. I should probably put on this thing over here. I don't know if you can see it. It's tiny, um, like a prefix and a suffix. So like mana stones or mana acorns or mana geysers or twilight ants. Uh, that's that's what that's trying to tell you there. But we're just going to make these things up. Um, so we'll stick with the left side over here. This jungle clearly is something special. So there's got to be something going on over here. Um, uh, mithril is a thing. We do have a, a, a request for a mithril river, right? Mithril river. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we put myth. Maybe there's mithril in these mountains, which makes it the mithril river. So we'll give ourselves a symbol. We'll find something. Something easy. I don't, I'm going to go and like, there's a lot of things we can choose through here. I'm just going to find something that's sort of a generic... This symbol means there's something, there's a fancy resource there. Um, let's stick a rock on it. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> um, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna denote that. I'll just put it like a like an X or something. Here we go. These. Uh, so let's just grab the circle. This guy. I will make it a, a black. And we'll say there is uh, there's mithril in these mountains. And we're gonna label it with a label. And we'll say uh, this is. So we need one for city. I need to add a new one. I'm gonna add one in for uh, this is the res resource font and all that. And it will be kind of a bluish color. Okay, and this is going to be the myth mithril. Uh, what is a mithril? Like that. I don't like that font. Uh, maybe some... Maybe that, that'll work. Maybe there's mithril there. Which, which is going to give us a name for our uh, what was that? Town? I don't think I changed the name of that one. So, town, uh, oh, whoops. Resource. Now, what'd you do that for? what did it change for? Blue. So I said I knew what I was doing with this, with this program. I lied. Uh, and then, that one. Okay, that's now done. Okay. Now, we'll go back to town, which is actually my, my, this one. It changed again, didn't it? All right, here. So this one, add a new one. This is a, uh, uh, what is this one? This is, um, what's the word for this one? Region? Or location? Whatever. This is the region one. Which is like this. I'm going to make the, uh, the, the mithril, mithril river. It's right here. I'm going to put this thing on the... Uh, like this, I guess. A little smaller. Okay. Yeah, we'll see how that works. Okay. So that should be set now. Okay, so now uh, we got Mithril. Let's go back to, to our resources. we got to find another resource here for... It didn't save it, did it? Um, I thought I knew how to do that. I guess I'll just click on this and then click off then. Um, hey, skill check engage, thanks. Um, all right, so we got three of them to pick, or pick from here. So we'll, we'll grab something in, like over here in, in the Blackwood Swamps, there's got to be something over here. So we'll put, uh, what's going to be in the waters here? Maybe some, uh, some sort of crystals. Crystals are always good. Uh, or, or, or clams. 
Uh, I think I did clams last time, so we'll have like. Um, did anyone give me one? Tinty spine. There it is. Sunland's the timber archives. So I got only if if you gave me one for a forest, I guess we'll figure something out with that. Um, Richterville. Hey, thanks, in. Swine Bay. Okay, okay. I gotta come up with resource, resource first, though. Uh, we're gonna say there's, um... This is where the, um... This is where the notorious pigfish live. They live there. Those pigfish. Man, those things. They, they'll chew your face off, those pigfish. They live in this little bay right here. Um, which is also known as... Uh, where's my label? Labels... Known as, um, right there. Wait, I have a water one. That's weird. That one, I want it blue. As, uh, Pigfish Bay, right? That's what we, what you, what you said? Swine Bay, it's called. That's the name of that little spot there. Could be a name of a town, but it's gonna be a name of that. There we go. There's Swine Bay. Okay, so we've got two of them. We need one more uh, um, uh, of these. It's gotta be in this jungle here. So this jungle, what is in this jungle that makes it so special? It's gotta be... Some sort of, um... Uh, that's not resource, though. That's... That's... Why are you doing this to me, game? So I just click on this. Click over here. So, it's gonna be... Uh, what's a... Uh, the Resilient Woods, uh, or the, um... 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 Yeah, how 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 does it work? How does why is this the only place where where the trees grow? Uh, it's gotta be the soil, soil. So it's got the um, uh, this is where the arcane soil is. It's magical soil. It's in these in these woods. So so the 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 trees are great, but it's not the trees that's special. It's the dirt that the trees are in. That's that's where that stuff's come from. You, I want you to be a little smaller also. Okay, so we have pictures over there. Okay, so now we gotta do this again. Uh, over here on this side. So we're gonna have some, uh, something in the desert over here. We'll put in some sort of, um, glass, um, there's some glass ants that live over here. You, like, you melt the ants down and they, uh, and, and they, they make glass, stained glass out of ants. Right over here. Um, we'll put up... Let's see, we got a lake over here. We can put something into the lake or a desert. Let's go, um, let's just go over here in this area over here and we'll put something, some sort of animal. Did I mark that one off? Did you get that one? Um, yeah, okay. Um,. Tina's Gambit. Who's this Tina fella? Let's go with... What's going to be over here? There is some some silk. Um, silk. Uh, uh, um, maggots live over here. Flies lay the eggs. And these these uh and they lay them in like little uh, silky sacks that you could use to, uh, um, I don't know, make clothes out of it. Okay, and then we're gonna put the other one down in the desert over here, like right right here. And this is going to be, um, a geyser. A uh, um, I have, we'll do a crystal. Crystal. I did this one before. A crystal geyser. 
shoots out crystals. Um, well, you know, maybe it'll be a one thing. So instead of it being like a bunch of stuff, it's just going to be a geyser just sitting there. So it's just going to be just a, a lone geyser just sort of out there. Spews out uh, crystals. Okay, we got one more for uh, for for uh, <laughs> so Sophia down here. Iron silk flies. Take your iron umbrella when busy. Yeah, yeah. Take your iron umbrella for sure. That's gonna hurt. Uh, over here in the swamp, we can put something cool like um, what lives in a swamp. Swamp would be like frogs, so we can say there's some uh, pearl frogs. Live over here in the swamps, oops, and uh, and they, um, you know, they, uh, I don't know, you, they, 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 you squeeze them, and, and these these uh, pearls come out of them. It's unpleasant. Uh, and then in the water, let's put something in the water over here. Let's put it way over this way. In the water, over by this little island I made, uh, it's going to be a, um, uh, 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 a. a Adamantine starfish. Don't step on those when you go swimming. And we want one of these. There. Okay. Out the, out in the ocean. And then the last one is going to be... It's got to be in this desert somewhere. So we'll stick it just out here, kind of in the desert. Or you know what? Let's put it in the mountains, down way down this way. And I want something that's going to go... Um... Some sort of uh, material. <laughs> Every now and then, the guys is impressive. Every now and then, a single gem pops out of the hole. <laughs> Burning sulfur pits. How about um, what's something more magical, like like mana pits? You come over here and and it just uh, you know, like if you want to become a sorcerer, you go bathe in the mana pits, and, and it does some good things to you. Okay, so. Um, that is, that's 1.4. So now we need to get a, a prime faction. My music is done, isn't it? Yeah, all oh, this background music now. Okay, let's go get um, some Age of Empires. Because, um, soundtrack, there we go. Uh, where's the good one? There it is. Come in, come in. Okay. Okay, so now it's Empire time. Uh, you know what? Before we do Empires, I got a bunch of names in here, so let's use some of these names. So we never got the Crumbly Fjords. Let's find a spot for those. And I think it's got to be back here. Crumbly Fjords. We go with... Uh, this is this is a a was it town? Is that where that was? No, uh, I don't know why this is doing this. Well, I, don't, I guess I don't know how to use this program. Never mind. I take it back. Uh, this is the the crumbly fjords. Okay, there we go. Crumbly fjords are usually it doesn't normally go with like a mountain, right? Because it's just like a like jagged or maybe mountains carved it. So I guess it could fit anywhere in here. But I'm gonna go with uh, with right over here. Posture check. Yes, I'm, I'm the worst at my posture, so thank you. That one will be that will be the most valuable one that I've got. Okay, that would be the fjords. Um, hey, you are quick, uh, Scold. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have a Coyote Canyon. Is that the uh, is that the only canyon we had in here? We got two canyons, right? So Coyote Canyon, it is. I'm gonna do this one, Coyote Canyon. Right in there. The Bay of Angst. Hey, thanks for the follow, Scatter, Scatter Jones. Um, all right, let's go to the, the Undulating Plains. Is that supposed to be A-N-E-S or A-I in A-I? Plains, Undulating Plains might go well with a Mana Pits, right? Because it's like Plains. Maybe there's some sort of something. Maybe it's, it's spelled that way on purpose. I like it. The Undulating, Undulating. I'm going to spell it A-I-N-S. But, um... I'm not sure, actually. Do I like that better, or do I like... I don't know yet. I'll leave it A-I-N-S, I think. 
Let me know what you think in, in chat. We may change that one. Uh, Stone Shocked Glen. What a, a Glen would be something like over here. Okay. Can I copy and paste? I can. Excellent. Okay. Just a couple little, uh, right? Glen would be like a hilly bit. Lake of the Drowned King. That one's kind of big. Some of these might be kind of tiny and really hard to see. That one's going to be real hard. This is Age of Empires, by the way. The soundtrack is fantastic. Um, Let's see. Untinti's Spine. I'm going to take Untinti's Spine as down here. This will be a, uh, a bigger one. So Tinti's got a big spine, you know. Right over here. Even that out. There we go. The Imaginary Forest. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Okay. That's going to go right. Um, it's got to be somewhere, somewhere blank. Like right here. There's nothing around. It's just, uh, it's just a desolate place. It's just kind of like, it's like the name of the, of the, of the cove over here. Okay, that's, we'll, we'll, I'll move on to the next things in a second. And then we'll get some empires in here. Then we'll figure out some more names. So, we need some, uh, some, some races. So, we're each going to roll, uh, um, one time on this. So, uh, Larry, Rhett, and Sonya will each roll once to get our main, our prime faction. So, we're going to roll twice, or two dice, I mean. And select this. So once we do this, we've got a 10, which is Animal Folk for Larry. So he will uh, select his place for the capital, as well as pick a name for them and a crest on the map for this. So, the Badlands, like the rocks just look like trees. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. That's really good. Oh, there's a, you know what? There's trees right there. Uh, I'll put it right here in the king. Yeah, that, I like that. That's real good. Okay, so um, let's go and get... I'm going to go do a preset, see if this works. It's, no, not that one. Oh, I, I messed it up, didn't I? I messed it up. Uh, okay. So, let's go and find a spot for these guys to start. They gotta start over here. There's gonna be animal folk. More dare for our animal folk. I like it. So, more dare is going to be right over here. Let's select a symbol. Uh, that was the first request, right? Before we even started playing this. Uh, I'm gonna leave everything as the same color, I think. Because I come in here and I can change colors, but it's kind of tedious, and I think I have a better idea. Let's leave everything as sort of a black thing, but the capital can be like a star. And they got to be right, right in here. So there is where more dare is going to be. I'll pick my my name. Is it A-I-R-E? Yeah. More dare is right there. Now, we haven't picked who this is yet, though. Animal folk. So... Who, uh, who's our animal folk going to be? That's the big question. We've got trees. We've got, um, my, my examples here, I've got a rat folk, no, kenku, frog folk, cat folk. I'm partial to rat folk. You know, a rat folk, capital of Mordare, I think that sounds pretty good. Rat folk it is. Rat folk! Uh, what's the name of this empire? Oh, we got some fear. Um, ooh, the Razor Ridge clan up there. We'll warm up. Keep that in there. The Timber Archives is the name of this... This clan. Uh, archives. Can I move this? Uh, so the Timber Archives is the name of these people. Stash them up. Well, we'll put them right here. Last protectors of trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with something a little bigger here. Timber archives. Okay, now we need to give them a symbol. Which, um... This is just make up whatever you want. Uh, anytime during the game, it tells you you can change factions. It's fine. Uh, nothing, nothing to be concerned about right now. 
Let's give them, we gotta give them a, bit, a big old tree as their, as their logo. So let's do something like this. Like that. And do I have a good circle? I have that. I just can't go big enough. Let's get big enough. Not really. Um, here, let's try that. I'm trying to squeeze a tree in there. Mm, I don't know about that. I'll just give him a tree. Okay. There we go. There is there is our timber archives and our logo. Carve the records in the tree trunks. A rat skull and crossbones. <laughs> we haven't got pirates yet. Okay, so there is that's Larry's folk. Let's pick Rhett's people over here. Rhett has five, which is reptilian. So we got lizards, kobold, snake folk, dragonborn. Um, let's go with. See, we got kind of a deserty spot over here. This seems like a nice spot to, part, to start out. Or anywhere near this river here. Um, we can stick some kobolds in the mountains. This is my main kingdom, though. So maybe we something like. Um, I think lizard folk are cool. Lizards? Desert lizards? Right in here? So we'll go back to the star, and that will go right, right uh, there. And I need a name for our lizard folk. Uh, we have the sun lenses over here. We can call them the um, the sun lens could be like this area here. I kind of was kind of leaning towards, or this. Um, I have those glass ants nearby. What's, what's Mokulai? What is that? Is that just made up? Is that, uh, or is it something? So these lizard folk are going to be right in here. With the capital town of, we'll come up with a name in a second. With a town name of, so one thing we could do also with this to make it easy on us. Is just, like, pick a, pick a suffix or something. Um, we can say, uh, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, um, Chemos is the name of the town. So there, there are towns in an OS. And they are known as the... What? The... Something scale. The... Um, the... Um, the Camus Empire. There we go. Very clever. I know. Okay. And then we got to give them a symbol, which is going to be something, uh, something like, like a nice mountain. That'll be their symbol. There we go. And we'll, we'll color it in real good. I think I can color it in with this. A nice... Green? No, maybe, maybe maybe brown. Nice brown one of those. It kind of looks like that stuff down there. Let's go yellow. It's really kind of red. That's cool. Charcoal burners. Okay, so there is Rhett. So south, we have one more role for our prime kingdom, prime empire, which is a seven, which is humans. So we can we could choose uh, any like uh, a culture of a humans or a like, like a half orc half elf whatever we'll make a culture. Down here we can go we could go with like the Egyptian kind of thing or Aztec, or um I don't know something uh like something like Klingon is that that doesn't count quite right but that's kind of what I'm thinking something a little more um like a like a dwarf human or something um. Is that my star? Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna start these guys in the in the uh, right here, right over here. I think. Oh, we we can put them on this. Let's do it on here actually. Let's put everyone on the main island. I'm gonna start them in the in this. What was it called? The Sunlands. In the Sunlands. So these are going to be. I think we'll go Egyptian, like a sort of like a sand building. Um. 
It's kind of boring. But we're going to call them... This is this is going to be this is the Sunlands, which is the name of the of the land. I'm going to add that in there, and they're going to be the name of the place is going to be um, uh, Glass Glassstone because it's sane and all that. Glassdoa. Uh, throw an apostrophe in there. Glastoa is the name of this. Th drop an S. Glastoa is the name of these 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 humans. Uh, we'll throw them over here. It's a name form and a symbol. These are the Sun Riders. The Sun. The, the Sun Stones. Stone Sunstone Kingdom. And they will get a symbol as well. I'm going to give them something, something uh, like a cloud, or we already have a mountain, so let's do something a little different. Let's give them a, um, like a nice dragon for them. There we go, a nice red dragon. Solaria. That's good. 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 So I'm going to take that sunstone, the sunlands. I'm gonna put that one in here. Mark that a little differently. Whoops. Right over here. Okay, there we go. The Sunlands. Okay, so that is uh that's it. That's all there is to it. So we have our prime faction. And then we go into area two, the Pantheon. What time is it? Um we could probably do this. These are we, we want to pick some gods. Now, this is a, this is a a time where we we like if we didn't have a pantheon in the game, uh, and we want to create some gods, then we can do this to uh, they sort of play behind the scenes and it kind of picks up some like you know sort of helps out later on when you get like temples and and uh, and evil clans and things popping in. Um, I think we will we will do it. I kind of want to do it. So uh, let me take a quick bathroom break though. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll do some more of this. So I'll be right back. Give me just a second. <clears throat> All right. I didn't miss any good songs, did I? So this is actually pretty quick, though. This is a, a quick era of, of god making. It's kind of tedious on Wonder Draft because you have to come up with symbols. We don't have to, I guess, but... Uh, Lizard's worship Tiamat. So uh, one thing that's good about this is... I think it's, uh, it's, it's debatable whether it's important... Um, but I added Era 2 in here for, uh, just kind of giving you ideas of, like, wh who are these, these, uh, these Amber Arch Timber Archives rat folk? Let me put that in there, actually. Um, and if we get a bunch of gods that are, like, you know, evil, then we kind of know, oh, okay, these guys aren't, aren't the friendly ones. So, that kind of thing. Also, later on, we'll get cults and things. You don't necessarily have to use these if you don't want to, but, um, I don't know. These are our these are our Skaven. That's uh, I want one over here. These are these are lizard folk. And we've got uh, humans. These are um, I'll just put humans for right now. There. So we clear down the list so people can get more names in. <laughs> yeah, um, let me get, uh, yeah, maybe we should do that before we start this one. So, let's see here. Um, so some of these, like, like Clockwork Empire, uh, Tina's Gambit, these might, Tina's Gambit is going to be a good town name. Mount Indomitable, let's do that one. Let's get that one in here. So let's go put in, uh, let me go back this way. Mount Indomitable is going to be this big guy right here. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, we got the Parched Lands. That's going to be... Right over here. In the Savannah. Thirst Thirstington? 
<laughs> okay. Uh, it's more of a town name, isn't it? I probably shouldn't. I, I cleared that one off, and I shouldn't have. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stash this one up here so I don't forget about it. Don't let me forget about Thirstington. Okay. Move it. Move, move Thirstington. Move, move Thirstington. Okay. I just don't let me forget about that one. Right here. Um. Yeah. At the end, we'll, yeah. At the end, if I don't use them, we'll, we'll give you points back. Uh, let's see. Charcoal burns. Wooden remem Wooden remembers. Razor Rage Clan. Okay, that's about, that's everything I can use right now. Except for the forest. Garu Forest. You know what? There's a tiny little batch of trees here that I missed. I declare that Garu Forest. There's like no trees anywhere but that one right there. There's one tree right here, though. Might make a good Garu Forest. Okay, so let's go and get ourselves a Pantheon. So we're going on to just one dice again. Uh, we'll start with uh, with uh, Larry. Larry has uh, two gods. So god number one is going to be the god of our domain. We just go down the list here. God of um, something around the home. Garden bread, hearth, cats, love, family. Um See what kind of so next up is the symbol. Let's see what kind of symbol we get for this. Maybe that'll help us out. Which can be a weapon. So maybe like um, the god of what's around the home. Um, the hearth and the symbol can be a uh, um, like a um, like a, a rolling pin or a, a knife or. <clears throat> So we got a, got a hearth. I do have a thing here for 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 these. So we'll pick something rat folk like. We've got um, Narnoff. Narnoff is the name of our god. Let me get a different looking font here for this. Let's go with like the the fancy one. Yeah, yeah. So we have Narnoff. This is the um, the goddess of the hearth. And I'm thinking like a, like a fireplace poker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Soul of Raven's got this figured out. That's, that's what I'm thinking too. Uh, Goddess of the Hearth and like a, like a poker of some kind. I don't know if there is anything like that in the game uh, in here. I'll just give her a tower or something. I think there is not even like a, like a fire, is there? Like a fire symbol. I just have the default ones. Yeah. Not a whole lot of good ones in here for that. We'll give her a bat. Um, we'll give her a pumpkin. Not enough. Goddess of the Heart has a pumpkin. It's supposed to be a, it's supposed to be a weapon. A pumpkin is not a weapon. A poker is. Here. Let's do this one. There you go. It's a it's a poker. I'll put like a circle around it, but. Uh, okay, so now we can go uh, with number two. God number two. God of uh, a craft or an art, which would be smithing, the loom, arcane, knowledge, beer, wine, jewelry. I think it's got to be a craft or art would be like foraging. God of foraging. It has to be a foraging god because of the uh, the soil over here. The soil and the trees taken care of. It's got to be the forage. Uh, forage or just like timber. Um, it's not something in nature. So maybe a, um, I think it's, yeah, I think it's just the art of forage, foraging. And the symbol is a, uh, a body part. A, a, a hand? Like a hand. So, a name. Let's pick up, um, uh, um, Delinus. Delinus. It sounds kind of feminine, so we're going to go with Goddess again. Goddess of... of... of foraging. Oops. Okay, there's our two gods for, for uh, old Larry over here. Uh, and it was a, a body part, which I'm sure there isn't any body parts in here that's going to work. So, um... We're going to stick this guy out there. <laughs> this, like a, like a mushroom would be all right. Not, not a, it's not a body part. Um, I don't know. There's just such a lack of symbols for that kind of stuff. We'll just throw in this little guy with a pumpkin. 
There we go. Okay, there's our Goddess of Forge and Goddess of Hearth. Let's go over to uh, Rhett over here for the same thing. We're going to roll see how many deities Rhett has. Little rat, yeah, little rat hand. Yeah, <laughs> little rat hand. <laughs> okay, so you have three deities over here in uh, on this side. Oh, did you? I oh, I'll use Thirstington. Did you? Did you um, um, refund Thirstington, or did I already use it? So we got three. Uh, we need a uh, something grim. Here we go. We got something grim. Excellent. Cannibalism. Grave. Knight. This is this is my uh, my lizard folk. Okay. What's my symbol? Is a weapon. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So, um... I will, I will take it. I'm going to take everything you just put there. Because it's good. And you've, you've beaten anyone using the, uh, uh, thing. So, we'll do this. So, we have, we have Deity, God of, de of, of Despair. Of Despair. Uh, and, and for the for the symbol, again, I don't really have symbols here. Uh, if I want to spend a lot of time, I guess we could come up with something. Let's do, like, despair. Like a bat. It's not a weapon. It's supposed to be a weapon. We'll just do this thing. We'll say it's a kind of weapon. Yeah. A scythe would be good. A scythe would be really good. What if I can make one? There we go. Hey, actually, that looks pretty good for a scythe. It's tiny, but that's that's good. Okay, so now we need uh, another god. <clears throat> uh, which is... Yeah, yeah, use your offering so I can see my list a little easier. Uh, as another something grim. Okay, these guys... Yeah, these are the evil guys. Uh, that doesn't seem to mean they're evil. It means there's they, they know there's evil gods out there. And it's a body part. So I'm going to go with, like, an eyeball. Um, and another grim thing. We could cannibalism, underworld, nightmares... Um, we have Grogan. Okay, I'll take Grogan as a word, as a name. That works. Uh, else? So we have Grogan. What is Grogan the, the god of? Drought? Uh, is drought something grim? I guess it kind of is. Drought? The god of, uh, I mean, drought's bad. Grout, the, the god of, of, like, pestilence? Pestilence? Um, we could just use a god of death. Let's just do, let's just stick with death. Grogan's, Grogan's a bad dude. I need to be a, bo a body part. We'll do something... There's no eyeballs in here. But we can do the... One of these symbols will kind of work. This one, it's kind of eyeball-like. If you squint real hard, it's gonna... You're gonna think it's some other body part. <laughs> That's how I put it out there, I realize. Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's not do that one. Um, what, 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 uh, what else should we do? I don't know. We're going to give you that. Um, yeah, yeah. Evil folks are over here. There we go. It's it's an eyeball, but there's like a like a diamond in the eye. That's our that's our god of death. Okay. Last one is something around the home. Cats love family. Uh, and it's an animal. Could always be cats. These are the lizard folk. Could be cats. Maybe they like to... Maybe they worship cats. Like, these are the most evil lizard folk you can think of. They, like, not nice folks. However, they worship cats. Because cats are just the best. Um, yeah. Coming around the home. Cats. Animal. Cats. Yeah. I like it. They like cats. They covet them because of their, uh, because of their fur. <laughs> so we need a name. Somebody give me a name for, uh, for our, our, um, our god... Uh, well, let's do a goddess. They have to male. Um, goddess uh, of, of of cats. Kamala. Uh, we have Dur I'll, I'll save Dervish for. Uh, actually, I'll use Dervish. It won't be Kith and Kin, but I'll take Dervish for for this one. I like Dervish. Dervish. Hopefully these are easy to read. I got kind of a weird font with this. And then we need a we need a symbol of a cat or like a cat's eye. I already have an eye. Maybe like a paw print. 
Oh, you know what? Maybe I can do a... You know what? Okay. We're making a paw print real quick. I didn't. I was trying not to zoom in real much because I'm going to do a uh, um, time lapse, but I have to. There we go. Okay. Okay. I'm happy. Okay. There's our cat goddess. <sighs> Plus the natural enemy of cat rat folk. That's correct. Hey, Shonda, how's it going? <clears throat> Welcome to the stream. It's a it's a little different day, but uh, it's it's a fun day. All right, so now that that is our uh, our lizard folk. Now we got to go to the, the 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 humans to the south. They have they have one god, one deity. Who is this deity of theirs that they have? He is the uh, something in nature. It's got to be the desert. It has to be the desert. The desert. Uh, sun, moon. It could be the sun. The sun god. Because we got a, the spine. It's hot here. The sun's always there. There's these mana pits around the sun. I'm going to go with the sun god. Um, oh, sunny. The sun god. Uh, and it's going to be an animal, which we'll put like a... Oh, a, a, a bat. We'll call it like a raven or something like that. I like that one. So these guys have one god. I'm going to throw it over here. Oops. Um. Ah. So the sun god. Let me uh, let me uh, raise some things. We're going to... Uh, Sunny should be a, uh, a, a boy or a girl god. Sunny. Um... Sunni, maybe Sunni. We'll call him. Call him, him, Sunni. Sunni is just yeah. Um. Uh, what is the uh? uh yeah, Sunni is 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 beyond gender. Sunni is just um. The the this the sun deity. Sunni is big time. What size is this? This twenty five. <clears throat> Let's give uh, Sunni a, a symbol here. Uh, what was it? It was an animal. So we're gonna give them, we're gonna give Sunni so give them a a bird. There's a bat. Um, I want everyone just to pretend that this is a a hawk. Okay. Maybe it's a, like a flock of birds. There we go. There's Sunni's symbol. Uh, I could put them in here. Actually, I could do something like this, and not like that one. Like that and put that on, on, on top of things. Those are my symbols. But that would that would mm, not a big fan of it. <clears throat> so, um yeah, there we go. So we have we have Sunni, the sun deity. And Sunni is is um these um well I guess they're they're in the sunlands here, right? So it makes sense. They would have that guy. The guardian of the sun. Um, don't, don't, don't go me sidetracked. <laughs> I'm keeping what I got. Okay, now, now, now we get to the game part of the game, right? We've, we've built our world. Um, now we're starting to start developing things. This is the time when, when the lands have been drawn, empires are starting settlements, and now it's time to start, like, settling out more, more settlements, uh, roads, and, and, and settling out whatever. So, what we're gonna do first, the, the first 50 years of the game, Essentially, is what's going on here. Thirty, sorry, thirty years of the game is these primary empires are setting out their 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 roots. Uh, so we're gonna roll and see what our first two settlements for each of these guys are. So um, we'll go with the rat folk first. They're gonna first settlement. They're gonna expand from their homeland into a mining settlement, pit, quarry, or mine, whatever. Uh, now we have to stay in our regions here, so they can't go out, and they also have to stay on their island. So they're gonna be somewhere around this way. I would assume they would go mine the soil. That makes sense. A quarry of 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 that. So let's let's make a little town here in the in the forest. I'm gonna just start remove a little bit of this, like that. I'm gonna stick a town in there. I'm gonna stick with uh, just like the circles. I think circles are squares. Let's do some circles here. A circle right right in there. 
And I need a town name. Hey, Chandra. Yeah, that's that's my game. And we're going to go and put in a town name. Oops, oops. I want uh, this one. Give me a, a rat folk name. Uh, we could end them all in like A-I-R-E. Or, or they all begin with Mord. Mord. Um, another thing we can also look at, if we make our gods, look at the names of the gods, like Narnoff, maybe they all end in off, in honor of Narnoff, or whatever. Thirstington, right, 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 don't forget Thirstington, okay. Um, I'm gonna stick with the, with the more, 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 Morlinus, which is named after Delinus, Morlinus. More apostrophe Linus. Rat name for mine. More. Morgaria. You're too. You're just just a little too slow. I'm happy with with my more Linus. We'll, we'll, we'll put you in there in a second. Okay. So that that's our uh, that's that one. We need one more town, which is going to be a uh, a resource town, which is like lumber industry, textiles. So maybe they take the dirt and they send it to like a factory or something along the way. Or we can go to the swamp. Uh, there's also pig fish nearby that we could go and and. Do something about. It. Let's let's just stick it here. So like this is like a mining camp, and we'll have a like a resource town over here named Morgaria. Oops. Yeah. Morgaria, capital M. We're just gonna be right uh, right in here. We haven't, we haven't gone out too far. We're you know we're baby steps. We're gonna get a path here. We make sure we draw lines to our places. I want this one, and I want the path to be... Is that a good color? No, I don't want that color. I want a darker one. Yeah, so we'll move our way up. So we head over the, the, to this one, and we'll have a path that goes out this way also. There we go. There's our lizard folk routes. <clears throat> they have the only trees in the world, and they mine the dirt. <laughs> The tree, we learned though, the trees aren't what's, I mean, the trees are special, but the reason the trees grow there is because the dirt is good there. Maybe this is some sort of post-apocalyptic thing. I think it's something we were talking about that earlier. So, more means purple in Turkish. Huh. huh. Interesting. Okay, so that is, uh, that's that one. And they also need to figure out a hostile neighbor for these folks. Everyone's got a bad guy. This can be anywhere in their region. So we'll see what they end up with. A lot of these are very vague, and so it's, it's you know, to kind of help you out. So you can come up with whatever you want. So if you also if you roll the game, roll it twice, you'll get something. So we got a hostile tribe. So along with a tribe, we have to draw up a uh, a name and a race for these guys, which I just passed it, didn't I? Uh, here. So uh, one hostile tribe is going to be over here somewhere. We've got a uh, a player's choice. Okay. This first one to give me a uh, a good a good uh, race for our our tribe. Give me one. And, um, Ents. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Ents. Do the Ents live in the in the forest, or are they going to be elsewhere? they got to be in the forest. Ents is perfect. These are hostile folks. They don't like these guys. Oh, they could be this little batch of trees in the Garu Forest? Um. i got to put them over here. So, okay, so this is gonna be the ints. Give me give me an int name. Um oops. So, uh I'm gonna put another one of these. Um Actually I don't need to be that big. Let's do a little smaller. Right in here. Did you like that arid game? I did, yeah, yeah. It was it was a lot of fun. And a free game? It's really good. Um the Guru Hall Wear Bears. I'll have to save that one for for later. All right, so these are the. Um, I'm just gonna call them the. I don't have a name for this this place yet, so we need a name for this this forest. We can also call them the the Garu Ents down this way. I'm gonna call them. I don't know. Dark Woods. The, the the dark wood. I think already, I have black wood swamps over here. We'll go with the dark wood ants. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna change this color a little bit to give it um a little bit of a red, like that. 
Garu is French for werewolf. Okay. So the ants live over there. We gotta give them a symbol for their their place. Um, we can mod we can mark it kind of if we know that they're a a tribe. It doesn't really matter, but we'll put something like this in here. So the ants live. Oh, you can't see it. Right here on the. Um, Right there. Here's where the ants are. I'm gonna put a big tree in there. There we go. The ants live over there. Bunker boss. Okay. Usually, what I do for D and D is I'll go in and I will um. I'll just like look up Welsh words or something for for uh. Um, names of things. Okay, so now that that was uh, Larry. We got to go back over, over to Rhett. Rhett is going to get two towns. I'll just roll them both together. Rhett is going to get a six, a religious, a religious site, and a, a food production site. So these are the, these are the evil folks and also the cat lovers. So we need to get a, a farm for uh, for these guys. So let's go get that. Pick up a dot here. They can farm um, really anywhere around here. They'll be able to farm maybe down here in the savannah, the parched lands. It could be, it's a food brush, so it could be a fishing site. Let's get a, like a, like a place right over here. Like that. And then we gotta get a religious site. We're gonna put in the, uh, Mount Indomitable is going to be their site here. <clears throat> Welsh names, Welsh, they make some nice, there's two reasons Welsh names are good. is because, uh, they don't sound like they're, they don't sound like they're spelled, and so you can, you, it gives you two ideas on how you want to, uh, um, say it. You can say it how it's how it's actually pronounced, or how I can't get this thing right, or how it, it looks like it's pronounced. Okay, so we got a farm here for for Camus. Uh, we're gonna name it after um, all these run in an OS, right? OS. So, uh, give me a. Um, this is uh, Wonder Draft is the name of the program. Um. Let's go with. Camus Empire. Um, I'm going to call it Daros. Daros is the name of the farming town. Farming fishing town. And then we need a, uh, a good name for our religi religious site. And who do, we, who do we worship over here? Do we worship the god of death? The god of despair? The god of cats? I think the god of death, maybe. Mount Indomitable? God of, of death? Name it after him. So we have um, Grogan's uh, Grogan's um, Grogan's view. That's where Grogan lives. He lives in Mount Indomitable. Okay, now we get a path. So Camos, they came on down this way over to Daros. Do I have any uh, roughness? Yeah, it's there. We got a little going from here through the desert. Grogan's view. View's no good. Now that I now that I say it out loud, Grogan's what? Grogan's perch. Grogan's crypt. I want arena. Grogan's arena. Grogan's Grogan Grogan's pass pass. I'm gonna go with perch. Grogan's perch. This is where he's. This is where he sits. He. That's where he sits. Gaze. Even better. Okay. All right. Uh, that is that's all of them. They need a hostile neighbor, so let's go roll that up for them. See what these guys get. They get a four, which is a necromancer or a mad mage or something something bad out there. This would be anywhere. We can put it even on this side as well. I'm gonna send them over here where the drowned king is, though. Maybe up here in, in the mountains over this way. Uh, it's just because somebody who's who's kind of lost their mind and run off into uh, into over here. So let's give them a spot. Like um, this. By the Crystal Geyser, maybe? The Mad Hermit. Okay. His name is Today. If, if, I, if I introduce someone in my... My D and D game, named today, my players would uh would would enjoy that. <laughs> um, 
the mad hermit. He's what? He's, he's just, maybe he's a he's a druid. Maybe. I would imagine there'd be druids around here, and I imagine, I imagine they'd be pretty crazy if there was some druids around here. Oops. Here we go. There's there's today the mad hermit over there. <clears throat> Guardian of the Crystal Geyser. That's a good one too. Uh, supposed to be... Oh, Tokar? Tokar? I kind of like today now, though. Okay. <laughs> I'll go with that. Tokar. All right. Fine. Tokar works. Uh, all right. And then that... Now we go down to, uh, to, uh, Sophie. Sophia? She gets two. All right. So we got a three and a five. We have a resource town and a, uh, and a military site for, uh, for these folks down here. Uh, oh, so I keep on looking down there, up here. So, uh, we know there's a mad mage over there. We know there's some crazy ints over this way. Let's see what they're, they're... Remember this. Let's see, I'll do a resource town. We'll do a military base as soon as we figure out their, their evil faction. You like today? Okay. Okay. I'll do it. I kind of like it too now, now that I've said it. Okay, so we've got to get a resource town. Um, probably something like a... Uh, up this way, give me a symbol, give me uh, a dot. Maybe over in Coyote Canyon. We got frogs over this way, we can make our way. That's a long way though for right now. We'll make our way a little sooner we get there. Let's just get over here in the mountains and get a mining town. Lumber textile industry, uh, you can do like glass. Yeah, we'll do that, right there. And then the military sites. I'm gonna put them I was, gonna, I was gonna wait on this, but I'm gonna put him down here. A fort at the end of the Sunlands. So let's get. Uh, let's see here. So this is the uh, this is the humans. Good stone mug production fort. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stone mugs are here. Uh, this is Glastoa. These are the humans who worship Tsuni, the sun deity. This is uh, somebody give me a give me a, a mine or a uh, um, a fort name. I'm gonna call this South Fort. These are humans. Humans are born. You know they don't they don't know what to name things. South Fort, excellent name. And then up north we're gonna have. Uh, actually, playing the end. You, so you you could play this like as a D and D campaign, I suppose, or if you're using it like a book. That's kind of where it would be used for. But yeah, it's just for a it's a fun, creative exercise. I think probably best word for it. Uh, these are the Sunstone Kingdom. So maybe we're gonna call this the um, Red Rock. I like it. Mm -mm. Path it up to Red Rock. And we need a path over here through the desert to South Fort. Okay. And their evil neighbor, not necessarily evil, hostile neighbor, is another necromancer or mad mage. So, uh, I got a mad mage. We can put a, um, anything else. This is why this is kind of vague, because there's... You think, I don't want that one again. But, you know, how many... How many Solo, crazy, or crazed, um, hostile folks could be out there. Uh, yeah, there should be a link um, in a uh, uh, chat somewhere for Map Imperium. It's on itch.io. Eric, the Mad Mage. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. Where's he going to live? He's going to live near the Mana Pits, of course. He he ventured down to the Mana Pits, uh, and, and he, he stumbled upon them. Maybe they drove him a little mad. But he lives over here now, next to these mana pits. And now he's starting to build himself a force. Because that's old Eric. Eric the Mad Mage, there he is. Mad Mage. Let me give him... Oh, you know what? Let me get this... A little, little, little lighter uh, red. There we go. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> okay, that's that's Tim. Yes. Okay, that's it. That's that's uh, era three is done. We're moving into 
uh, into Era 4, the Age of Discovery. Okay, I was proud of myself when I came up with the name of this one. I, I, I thought, um, you know, I'd won. Era Discovery, that's good stuff. All right, so and now uh, we got to go. I realize my head is right in front of the dice, um, which I kind of knew it was, but... Anyway, we got to go to the Age of Discovery. So, empires are ready to explore and expand. Scouts and settlers are now being sent out to explore the world. This is 50 years, or 60 years, of your, your empire's timeline now. So, we've, we've, we've got a foundation. We've got the, the rat, fro rat folk to the west in Mordair. We have the Kamos Empire to the east. The evil lizard folk who worship the god of the dead. Uh, and then we have um, the, the Sunstone Kingdom of Humans here in the Sunlands. Okay. So, uh, we're going to go to order here. So, Larry is going to go first. Uh, and we still haven't used Thurstington. You're right. You're right. Door Slayer. I, I will not forget Thurstington. Uh, I, I won't forget. So, uh, I, I will forget. So, please keep reminding me. So, we come up with a 12 now, which is a Hostiles. Your explorers have made contact with Hostiles. Roll on the factions table and place them anywhere in your home region. Uh, so, this is... Um, use a race table and a settlement table if necessary. So we're going to come up here on this one. We're going to roll another one of these to see what we found. So this is these guys. They're sending out scouts. They have discovered a hostile tribe again. We're going to see what it is. They have discovered... Uh, where is it? Um, where are these things? Are? Wait, wait up here. They have discovered uh, reptiles. So kobolds, snake folk, dragonborn. There'd be kobolds in the mountains. I'm always up for kobolds in the mountains. Uh, or Dragonborn could be somewhere. These could be anywhere on this place. We could put Kobolds up in these little mountains here, in the Razor Mountains. We could have, we had a Razorback one I saw earlier. Razorback Kobolds. So let's go get that. Let's go get that. It's Kobold it is. Kobold Tribe. I'll use this one for the tribe. We'll stick them, like, right, uh, right, right over here. And we're going to give them a, uh, a name. These are the Razor Kobolds. I need, I need a little smaller here for these names. I'm not going to name that town. That's just the name of the town is Razor. And they may, they may grow, though, in time. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. I'll come up with a name if, if we need it. We'll call it just Razor for right now. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go with Razor Back Kobolds. Because it sounds, sounds like it's from... Uh, Arkansas. Here we go. Okay, so there's that. Uh, and then that's number one. So we got to go back down here to... Back to our Age of Discovery. Now we're going to be on Rhett over on the side. And Rhett has discovered 16, which is a fantastic landmark. Scouts have stumbled upon an impressive landmark. It's a strange rock formation. Lone monolith, magical grove. Draw it in now. And then place a family tribe nearby. So, on this first era, Era of Discovery, I didn't mention this, I should probably write it in here somewhere. Um, you're going to find a lot of different tribes out there. The, ro the world's going to grow a lot in this first, in this Age of Discovery here, as far as peoples in the world. So, let's go figure out who we've got. Um, this was a tribe, right? So, we got to put in a, 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 a landmark somewhere, and then a tribe. So, I think maybe we'll do something, maybe they came over here, they sailed out here, and they came up and they, they ran into this, and discovered this spot over here and found a tribe. So we have discovered 10, which is uh, animal folk. I'm rolling the same ones. We're going to have some, we're going to get some cat folk. So we're going to have some tabaxi. A little tabaxi place over there. I'm good with that. So we'll have a, uh, a spot right here on the, uh, right there, which will be. We're going to call these guys the, um, uh, the, the silk fur. Tabaxi, because those those silk those maggots are kind of they're not really close by, but Tabaxi with an eye, I think, right there. Okay, and we need a landmark also. That that, that was the whole point, a landmark. Um, maybe a tr maybe a tree. Cats like trees. Maybe they found a few trees, sort of nestled in here. And I kind of move it away now. Actually, I'm going to put it over here. Just a little grove of trees. Right over there. And we're going to move it over this side. 
Let's look for a tabaxi live. Okay. Right over there, there's a tiny little patch of trees, a giant scratching post. That's right. They can sit in the tree and they can just be happy because of the cat people. Okay, now we gotta go into Sophia. Uh, someone keep keep track. This is number one. Also, I need to get some werebears. I keep forgetting that's on there. Uh, so I'll get werebears. Next time we get an animal folk. Uh, number nine, we got a minor kingdom. Scouts have reported, uh, discovered another kingdom to the south. Place two settlements. Give them a banner. So down here, we've got to put in a, uh, same thing. we got to do this again. I'm getting lucky here getting these rolls over and over again. So we've got an 11, which is a giant kind. So there's a giant kind kingdom. Uh, uh, maybe some fire giants live over here in Untinti's spine. Or in the undulating plains. I think I live in the canyon also. Let's see that. <laughs> um, and the mountains over here. I'm going to put them down here in the, in the bottom. This is a kingdom of, of giants. So let's get a, um, a capital city. Let's throw them over here in Untinti's spine. Um, nope, I'm moving over here to the canyon. They live in the canyon. Or next to the canyon. I'm gonna give them, and we'll give them two spots where they're going to put a town in. Uh, this is going to be like a like a proper kingdom. So we're going to give them a name and all that. So I need a name for my for my giants. And a symbol. We'll call them the... Um, I think, I'm thinking like a, like a fire giant. Or uh, maybe just like a, like a goliath. A goliath is a good one. Kingdom of Goliaths. The imaginary Goliaths. Um, the, the the Red Canyon. Um, the the um, Kingdom of the Red Canyon. That's who that is. And uh, we'll give them a... Um, yeah, a bunch of... Oh, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Like a bunch of yetis. Yetis. That's perfect. Okay. This is... Red... Redstone is the name of this this place. And, uh... Thank you, Bach. That's perfect. Let's do... They, they're gonna get two cities. They're gonna get a three and a five. Which was... Where was that one at? Uh, down here. Resource town and military town. Military spot. So let's give them two symbols. We'll throw one down in, in here for uh, some res... Oh, maybe we can go in the desert. Get some fruits off those uh, those guys and we'll stick a, a, a military fort over here. Okay. And we're going to name these towns uh, um, Sandfoot is that one. And this one over here is going to be... Nope, nope, nope. How did that work? Why is it doing that? I'm clicking too close to it. It's, see, like that. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. Should be fixed now. Uh, Thurstington. Yeah. <laughs> Thurstington. How do I forget that name? Okay. You can finally go away. It's way up there. I can't see you up there. Okay, and let's go to Path. So these are like some, uh, you know, like, they got a proper kingdom going here. There is our, our, uh, Red Canyon, um, Goliaths. Uh, no, yetis. Y yeti folk. You want yeti, yeti, yeti folk? Yeah. Uh, we're supposed to give them a symbol? There is a symbol of a giant in here. Somewhere. Somewhere there is. There he is. 
There we go. Red Canyon. Down that way. Now, what I could do is I could put in an overlay. Is that how I do it? This one. So we can kind of try to keep things organized. Like, we get a color for everyone. So we're going to say, like, the rat folk are going to be... Uh, you said purple. So uh, purple was kind of what that means. So let's do purple for the rat folk. And we can kind of do something like this. And kind of give them a boundary. Like that. And we can, we can adjust that as, as time goes on. Um, if we if we like it. If I don't like it, let me know and I'll, I'll get rid of it. I'm not sure how that comes through. But I think it might come through kind of nice. So then we got the, the lizard folk. Uh, we're going to give them kind of a yellowish color. For these guys. They want to come over. They want to mount indomitable. But they're not going to cross cross over there. Just that stuff. Like, like over like this. Okay. And then we're going to get these humans. Uh, they got a red dragon for their for their name. So we'll, we'll put... Well, these guys probably should be red. So we'll give them a little different... Uh, like an orange or something. And they control this land here. We can adjust that easily. Helpful? Good. And then we got the red stone. I won't do it around the tribes. Yet, unless they grow. And then we'll add one in. Whoops. No, 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 no. Ah! Uh, what's, what's... Uh... I messed it up. Back to my orange. Okay. Um, and I was thinking maybe, maybe I should do something like this. Just so we know who's who. Is that helpful? Let's just focus like this. Is this is this helpful for uh, those of you that are looking on a smaller screen? And then purple. Very helpful. Okay, good. Doesn't kind of, how do we get that color to match? Um, let's see. Can I click on this? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, and I got this guy. So let's go get this one. Okay, so there's our main our main factions. <laughs> Order Draft is a fantastic program. And I mean this is all the base stuff. There's all kinds of things you can get, uh like third party things that you can get, but this is yeah, it's a it's a fantastic program. Uh I'll probably have to add in some some things around the, the tribes. And I'm debating whether I should go ahead and do it now. Um, I think I will. Just just to get them started. Because I know we're going to need them. The problem is getting things to kind of match. Um, a little cobalt spot. There. We will do a... Um, we, got, we have tabaxi over here. We're going to be kind of... Uh, we have orange. I wanted something, maybe, maybe like a, like a, um, uh, that color. Like that. It's a color with all modern tribes, but they're gonna, they're gonna grow, uh, and they may, they, you, I, th I think they're gonna need a different color. I mean, not eventually, but I, I, I feel like it might be a good idea. Like that, and then we've got, who else was there? Uh, oh, Eric down here. Eric. Eric's a Eric's a blue kind of guy. Like that. Okay, that everybody? Oh, the the ants. Green, of course. Okay. Alright, so uh that was one. Let's go back to uh, this is roll number two. We're doing this six times. There is a I do have a chart down here at the bottom. Um, if you want to play a smaller game, this is a standard game. You can do a shorter one if you want to do a shorter, shorter game, but 
uh, once you get once you get to about this era, it does move all along a little faster. <clears throat> so let's roll number uh, number two. It's fifteen, which is a uh, a new resource. Explorers have discovered a valuable new resource. This is for uh, left Larry over here. So we found something exciting. Let's just try to fill in a hole somewhere. So let's put in what was my resource? It was that one. Can I click on that and then do that? No, of course not. So we'll grab this guy and we're gonna put something over here. Something in uh, maybe in this swamp. And what do they find in the swamp? A um, what's well, a little? We live in swamps. Um. They found wild. I think of a, a, a like a magical thing, or um, um, wild some like a, like a what's what's the what's like a dust like a magic dust, what's it called in in D and D the the um, residuum. Um, Uh, wild? I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna go with, uh, I have mana, I have arcane, it's all taken. Uh, I don't want any more of that. Let's put in some, like, diamond, diamond, uh, mushrooms? Mushrooms. In the swamp. Don't eat those. Pixie dust. Okay, so there we go. That's done. Let's go over to. I gotta write this down. This, this is this is phase number two. Okay, so we've got a seven, which is new geography. Scouts report a new and terrifying lands. Draw something on the geography table and place it. Page six, right there, right here. We're gonna roll one of these. So these guys went out scouting around. And they found something. They found some more hills. Why couldn't they be hilarious if they found a forest? Wouldn't it? <laughs> So let's get some more hills in here. Um, we could throw it there. I feel like the scouts are going around and finding stuff. Let's throw something like... Okay, hill's already over there. We could do this. Or maybe down here. Just a bunch of hills around here. There we go. Okay. One south. Uh, our bar was... Buying ball bearings, we ended up calling them flute ammo. <laughs> okay, we got 12 now. Nucanium. I'm remembering that one. Uh, hostiles. They try with hostiles. Okay, what are we going to find? This is page 10. We're going to roll on on uh, this one. More hostiles for the south. We have a, uh, a demon lair, a cult, or an order. So, uh, there could be demons on the other side. This is where the giants were messing with. Maybe we'll put some demons over here. I'm okay with that. Demi demons in the canyon. Makes it a little more exciting over here. There's nothing on this side, though. Which isn't quite as thrilling. I think I want something in the canyon. So, this was a demon lair, a cult, or an order. I think some werebears makes a fine uh, cult. A cult of werebears. People that were humans, they got bit by something. They ran away because they were, you know, cast out because of their werebearness and so they left and now they live uh, all on their own over here in the canyon where they can be away from these spooky angry humans like right over here Are they gonna be, yeah let's just stick them over here in the corner cult of the werebears uh, I keep on doing that I want like that one So I'm gonna call them the. I'm gonna call this place Gur Hall. Is the name of this little spot? We're gonna call it the Cult of the Werebears. Cult of 
pull to the wear bear. Okay, and we'll give him the color. Of uh, do I have a black yet? I don't. There we go. Confused humans who used to be bears. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, uh, that was south, so we got, we're on, we're on number three! Halfway there. We're getting there. Uh, okay, so we got, uh, 13 on this. Which is a hostile attack. Okay, so, um, we got somebody over here has attacked. I think, clearly, it's gotta be the Ents. The Ents are angry. Morlinus is falling. So where's our thing here? Uh, to a hostile attack. So, uh, where was it? 13. Everybody hostile forces attack, destroy a fort, settlement, and replace it with ruin, or claim it for the new invaders. They're just going to break it. They don't want more than this. They just want to break it. So, uh, we're going to go in here, and we're going to we're change the name of this to the Ruins of Morlinus. Make it a little smaller also, because it's no longer of importance. Ooh, too small. Right there. And then we're going to push these guys back a little bit. Push back. They didn't take it, but they broke it. But it did give them a little bit of strength. So we're going to give them a little bit of land here because of that. There we go. So the ants have pushed back a little bit. Okay, so that was uh, that was number three. Uh, we're going to be over on um, Rhett. Who has also rolled a 13, which is a hostile attack. Uh, which is going to be the Mad Hermit, of course. Who has come in and he has... Uh, he has has sent his his all his fury down on Daros. They didn't even see it coming. I could go capture it, I suppose. Would he capture it? Would he, would he capture it and then enslave these poor little lizard folk? I think he would. So maybe he has a, um, a new little patch of, uh, of Darrow's here. He went and conquered that. So, uh, or claim it as new invader. So yeah, they have, the Mad Hermit has conquered this. Today is his name. Okay. Sophia? What? What is this? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Another hostile attack. Eric the Mad Mage. Uh, oh no, the Rare Bears have attacked. Okay, we'll roll some more 13s, I guess. We're not going to anger the Dice Gods today. We're going to go with it. Uh, and Red Rock has fallen to some Rare Bears. Uh, I'm not going to. No, I'm going to just expand. I'm not going to expand. I'm gonna, just going to draw new lines. Do we? Do we want to just wreck it? I think we're just going to wreck it. It's going to be a ruin of Red, Red Rock. It makes more sense for these wear bears. They, they, don't, they don't want this place. They just want to mess it up. I love this song. Good stuff. Ruins of Red Rock. There it is. Okay. Uh, we're on number four. So we've got the Timber Archives are up next. Roll on that. I should call him. Stop calling him Larry. We'll call him Timber Archives now. Ten. We got colonization. The empire is growing to distant shores. Build a new coastal settlement, preferably on a nearby island, if possible. So they have decided. You know what? These ents are causing us some grief. We just discovered these rays are, are these diamond mushrooms. Let's go build a town there. So the the rats have have gotten the little the little boats out, and they have sailed to distant shores over there. Anyone want to give me a, a name for a? Uh, a town for these guys? I have one, do I? Nope, nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spend your own TNT points. Um, give me a, uh, a name for, for that. I'll come back to it in a second. Diamond mushroom weapons. Yeah, they can make some fancy weapons, right? We'll come back to that in a second. And we'll get, uh, um, Kamos. Who's gonna give me a four, which is a evil lair or hive. Center forces are lurking. Demons, twisted abominations, or bloodthirsty spiders. So we have a new hostile neighbor, which is going to be an evil lair or a hive for this one. Uh, more bay. I like it. Oh, yeah. Perfect. More bay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I got to do this thing, too. 
So let's do this. Yo, yo, yo. Okay. Like that. So the, um, they have grown a bit. Um, all right, so we got a, uh, what was it? An evil lair or hive. So, um, that is, uh, right in here. So we can do, like, the demon lair kind of thing, or we can do the hive or swarm. I like the idea of having a swarm of things. We could do something like, you know, it could be bad, like angry crabs or uh, bugs. We'll just stick with some bugs. Bugs are nasty. Coming out of the, out of stone shocked glen. Diamond hornets. These are the uh, these are the uh, the right side guys over here. So we have we could come out of they could come out of the lake. Uh, they could come out of this river over here. There's also swamps. I'm gonna stick with this this the glen up this way. Because if I if I dally, I'll I'll, uh, I'll never finish this. Lightning beetles. Um, that's creepy. Okay. <laughs> There is a, a hive of scum and villainy here in Stone Shocked Glen. Go down here. And in that hive, there is some. Um, I want. Which one? This one. Centipedes. Light, lightning, um, beetles, not, not the band, beetles. All right there. Okay, guys, that was a new hive. Uh, and we'll make, make them a, uh, a little symbol here. Of uh, something. This color. Here we go. Now, back over here, that was uh, number four, so we gotta go south, Sophia. Sophia got a 15, which is a new resource. Explorers discovered a new resource. Um, let's go put something. These are scouts running around. They've got bears attacking them over here. Let's go like in the mountains down this way and find something. So my resource symbol, that one. So let's stick a resource, like right. There's nothing that really down here, so let's stick something like right there. And, you know, it could be anything like uh, like an animal. We don't have, have an animal resource yet. So let's say there's some sort of a resource thing. This one. Um, like there's a, uh, like a certain, like like an antelope. Um, like a like a woolly antelope. Is that a real thing? There's woolly antelope there. Is it two L's in woolly? Woolly. Here's now. Okay. Some cantina band. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, this is number five. Okay. Let's roll it again. So we got an 11, which is expansion. Okay, Empire is expanding. Place some settlement near an existing one. So we could either go, we gotta roll and see what we got here to see what, what the timber archives have done for us. Uh, a five, which is a military fort. So, yeah, they've got to go and get themselves. We could do it up here. They can expand this way, but I think we got to go and put a fort over here where maybe in the ruins of, of Morlinus, or maybe next to it. Because there's some uh, some ints over there causing some problems. Let's take a fort at the, at the crossroads here. Right there. It's going to be called... Um, Hmm. Morlinus, what was it called? Fort Morlinus. Morlinus is gone, but there's still a Fort Morlinus around. Kind of crammed in there. There. Yeah, it's good money in there. All that, that dirt. So they gotta, they gotta keep these trees out uh, at bay. So that was the, that was, did I do that 
No, no. Okay, that's, and now we're on this side over here. We've got 11, which is expansion. Same thing. Settlement table. So they have got us a, uh, a new mining settlement for for these folks over here. Uh, these are glass, glass ants over there. Can we mine the glass ants? I don't see why not. That seems like a mineable thing. So they got a problem with this hermit, but they're gonna go mine these these uh, these ants over here. We should give them a path. Like that. Okay, uh, and we're gonna give it a name, which is gonna be. Uh, okay, okay. Wait, it's supposed to be in, it's supposed to end in OS for all of these. Big balls of wool with just ho hooves and horns poking out. <laughs> uh, we'll get those beetles up north. Uh, we're gonna call this place uh, um, Dumos. Right there. Okay. I fear my words might be a little big. But we'll see as we get into this. Uh, okay. Next step. So remember, on this phase, we're still uh, stuck, kind of, we're stuck in our in our sector here. At the next one, uh, in five, then we can go out to various areas, across the mountains or whatever. So this is Sophia, this is round five. We've got a 13, which is a hostile attack. Uh, not looking good. Uh, we could lose the capital, or they could come down here and take this one out. Um, I, th I think the werebears are just, um, are just causing some problems, I guess. The Mad Mage could be could be traveling. Maybe Mad Mage traveled across and hit South Fort, or the um, the Yetis made their way over. Eric's Sandstone Golems. Okay, I like the sound of that. So let's get a um, uh, this one here. Push back South Fort. Let's not lose the capital just yet. South Fort. Has fallen to Eric and his dang yetis. No, no, his dang uh, um, golems. There we go. Okay. All right. So last round we've got now is uh, is a nine, which is a minor kingdom. It's covered in a minor kingdom. So let's see what we've got over here in the in this realm. We have a ten, which I keep getting tens, right? So I keep rolling. Ten. Yeah, more animal folk. Uh, we get gnolls, kenku, frog folk, cat folk. Someone's gonna live up here, I think. What's a good animal folk we can do? Go for the pearl, the pearl frogs. Yeah. Uh -uh. So we can go. Yeah, yeah. Map of Imperium. I made a game. Uh, and, and this is it. We have we got cobalts. We can have something up there messing with the cobalts, I suppose. A uh, um, some knolls in the mountains, or let's stick something. Oops, let's stick something over. Yeah, I just remember that. There we go. All right. Hey, Gord Gaming, how's it going? So uh, let's go and do something like this. Yeah, so I made a, um, those of you that are joining the stream later on, uh, I made a pen and paper game um, a few months ago. And uh, and this is it. Essentially, it's a, supposed to be on with piece of paper and a pen. We are using a map, uh, a Wonder Draft as our paper. And I'm drawing in things. This way, the rules are to my left here. We're sort of just following along this. And we're building a fantasy world. So all this has been done just by dice rolls, essentially. Um, I'm going to stick something over here, and we're going to go, we need animal folk in here, so I think we're going to grab, frog folk are always great, we want like a little, a tribe of frogs, or was this a kingdom, what did I roll, I rolled, um, what did I roll, um, I forget what I rolled, I rolled minor kingdom, didn't I, yeah, it's kingdom, okay, so we're going to have a kingdom of something, I think a kingdom of frogs. It has to be. It has to be a kingdom of frogs. So let's give them a star. Right there in this bay. I'm going to call them something. <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah. If you want to get a, uh, a name 
town name or region or location name, whatever, you can spend some points there, and, and uh, I'll, I'll throw them in here. But we need a place for some frogs, and we need a couple settlements. I'll, I'll put these out before we get names. Two settlements. We need a... Uh, I think, is it one or two? Place two settlements. Uh, so it would be just one settlement. So we're going to give them a trade post. Maybe these are kind frogs. These might be friendly frogs. And they will be trade. Maybe they trade with the cobalts, or they they could also, because of more bay being here and these diamond mushrooms, maybe they are doing that too. I'm gonna stick by the water though because they're frogs. Right over there, I think. We'll give them a path. We also need a name for these frog people. So we need a name for the town and a name for the frog people. So we're gonna call them. Uh, is that the one I want? I want um, this one. Let's go with uh, what's a good frog name? The um, Finn 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 uh, Finn Pole Finn Pole. Um, Fin pole. What's another word? Rather like union. It's a union of frogs. Frogs and there's toads in there as well. Frogs and toads. Uh, that's why I'm going to move this trade post. Uh, if I do the right thing. Over here. These are the toads out there living in the plains. There we go. Okay. Frogs and toads. The Finpole Union is going to have a, uh, a symbol of, I don't know, uh, um, a, a fish. No, that's nonsense. Symbol of a waterfall. That's going to be their symbol. There we go. And we're going to give them a town name. Of, I have to, Fintopia, it's right there, and then there uh, the 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 Toad Trading Post. We're gonna call this Toad Post, right there. I like these guys. These are the best ones in the game so far. We're giving them a green. We're gonna give them a duck a dark green though. There we go. There's our frog people. Uh, the Finpole Union. There we go. Okay, so that was uh, your last one. So now we got to go over to uh, the, the right side for a seven, which is a new geography, new lands. Let's see what we get here out of this. A nine, which is where's my geography at? It's up here. Uh, a desert. I'm never getting. I cannot believe. I cannot believe I've gone this long and there's and not had a forest. I can't believe it. Okay, we need a, a desert. I'm gonna throw it up this way. Yeah, this will be kind of deserty over here, along with all these hills up this way. Throw some little trees in there. Or a little cactus, I mean. Cactus. Like that. And can I do this for like little desert things? Maybe. However, it's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a neat thing. I'm taking that. It's golden. There we go. The Powder Dunes. Thank you. That's a good one. Okay. Toad traders, they try to obtain all the gold plate and latinum they can. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, the Frankie live over there. All right, let's go with Sophia's last turn. What's she got? She's getting a, five, uh, a nine, which is just what we just did, isn't it? A minor kingdom. Okay. Minor kingdom. Again, yeah, the first uh, phase of this is going to be a lot of, of this. And we got more humans. Okay. Good. We can always have more humans. Nothing wrong with that. 
So, uh, these are, Sophia down here, so, Glass, Glass Stoa is about to die. So we're gonna find some humans. I guess they just discovered this. Or we could throw them over here where the, this spot is. So those pearl frogs over here. I think I wanna put them. I kinda wanna put them on this side. It's like, this, it makes sense. The scouts, they reported back, hey, we found woolly antelope. We'll go find more things. Oh, look, there's humans there. So they just discovered more humans living with the woolly antelope. They're gonna be kind of uh, nestled in here with these trees. Like right over here. We're also gonna give them a couple settlements. Because this is a kingdom. Uh, we should give them like a, a, a culture as well. So we got a five and a four, which is a... Where are we at here? Um, a military site and a trade post. Well, we do have hermits living around. So we'll throw a, her uh, um, a military fort on like right on the border here. And maybe a... What was the other one? A trade post? Maybe a trade post over here to get these, get these antelope. Like that. And this is our last kingdom. And so at this point, this this should whoops. There shouldn't be too many more uh kingdoms and things in the game. There's gonna be a few more, but not like we've had in this first phase. Alright, so I need a name for our humans down here. The woolly humans. <laughs> They're just really hairy. Like Neanderthals. They're going to be the, um, I kind of like it. Really, really hairy, um, humans. They live, uh, like in, in dirt moundy kind of, uh, like adobe kind of things. Not adobe, but like, um, well, like mounds. So we'll call them the, uh, I'm just going to pick up a weird name. I got a, name, a weird name over here that I've been wanting to use. We're going to call them Dur- Sizzlol. Sizz. I don't like the lol. Sizz. Sizzhorn. Dol Sizzhorn is the name of that place. That's kind of weird, but I saw it. Oh, I thought that's a good fancy word, so we're going to keep it. And we got another one down here, which we're going to call uh, uh, Dur. Dur again. Dur. Sura for the port, um, and or the 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 fort is that, and then this way we're gonna have uh, okay, sure, try Hathorn right there for the trade post. Okay, I never got a name for these guys, though. So we're going to call them the... Um, Dur, I would think, means, like, city or, or settlement. So we'll call them the, uh, you know... Um, kingdom, or we got union already. Kingdom, and what's another good word for other than kingdom? The, the wool realm. Republic, Realm, Empire, Coalition. I think maybe like the maybe the maybe the Drowned King is theirs. So this is the the Drowned dr Drowned Drowned. I have Empire Drowned. Hmm. I don't know. I, I mean, I need a, a drowned realm. I'm gonna go with realm. Drowned realm sounds more like a world name. I don't like it. I have a union also. Heck, it's not, nothing wrong with having multiples. We're just a kingdom. Drowned kingdom. And we'll give them a symbol of a uh, like a I don't know. A cloud. There we go. And we'll give them a color. 
of a, a, a blue. We have a blue already. We don't have a. We have a light blue. We have a, yeah, we have a blue. We don't have a light like a teal kind of blue. Do we? There we go. Drowns cult. He's on a truck. This isn't a cult. This is a kingdom. Cults are, uh, are are in the game, so we'll leave them as a. Well, these guys are a proper kingdom. Uh, yeah, they would have a king, I suppose, if they're a kingdom. Well, they don't have a king anymore. He drowned. It's the lake of the drowned, drowned king. All right, so there we go. So that is the age of discovery done. We now move into the neighbors develop phase. This is a new phase that, that I haven't done before with the stream. This is one of the big changes I had. And so what you do is you take every faction, you know, all these different people we added in. They each are going to get a turn doing something, doing one thing. And so that way, it's not just the main folks uh, doing anything. The uh, the other folks outside here are also going to be developing. So, let's do that. But I just realized I didn't put add this over here to take Dumos in. So there we go. So they've grown a little bit right that way. Okay, um, let's go with. Uh, so we start with we'll start with. Um, the timber archives on the left here, and we'll just we'll just work our way down. So we have a Razorback, Razorback Cobalt, which was a tribe. So we're gonna grab a tribe, which is this one here, and just roll a d6 and see what they do this turn. So they migrate. Their homeland is no longer providing. Perhaps too dangerous. Remove a settlement and place it somewhere else and leave a room behind. So this little spot they've left. They're like, this is the worst. There's mithril over there. We're leaving. So we're gonna go grab our symbol here, and I'm gonna leave that one there. Actually, I'm gonna replace it with a one that looks more. Ruiny, and we'll pop them over this way. And I'm gonna grab the label also and just move them over this way. So it may, might be more effective on a bigger map, but this little area they've, they've just moved. We'll, we'll stick a ruin in there, and ruins might come in. Oops, come into play also. Uh, I did it again. Stop doing that. That's what I do. And then I'm going to grab this guy and just move it there. Okay. We're going to leave a, a symbol behind, though, where their ruin was. And we'll stick in there. This is kind of my... This is my resource symbol. So we'll put in... What's a good ruin one? That's what I had for that, but I'm going to use this now. So there's a ruin there. Of of where the Razorback Cobalt Caves were. Okay, so that's they're done. We move on to the next one, which is the fin Finpole Union, and we're gonna get a dice roll for them, which is a a minor faction, um, and that is an epic construction, a new mage school, academy, or altar to a god, drawing a new construction near a settlement. So these guys have built something impressive, and the fish folks they can build a a um like a monument. Maybe they worship uh, Delinus as well. They everyone can share deities, so they could also grab one of cats or of the sun god i think I'm, I'm okay with these these frog people being wizards and so we're gonna draw in i can't get a smaller one of those i'm drawing i'm gonna small tower can i get a small tower there we go i want a tiny little tower here which is actually giant they're building it they're building a giant tower to the sun god suni i'm gonna put it a little bit closer to the capital though Right, like right there. So we got a nice little monument there that the uh, the got the frog folks use to worship the sun god. Which um, they like water, but they like nothing better than that sun god. That guy's all right. That's a little bit ago. It's super fun game. Thanks, Jakey. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. Let me know how it goes. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Hol holiday um, um, map drawing. Very cool. Okay, so there is Finpole. We're going to go to the Ents here, who is a tribe, which is a split. The tribe is split. Build a new settlement nearby, but separate it as a faction. So the Dent, the Darkwood Elves, or Ents, have split. And uh, we're going to move this a little bit back. There's some that say, you know what? We should just stay in our native homes. And others say, no, we got to expand. And so they've built a new people. 
So we're going to add in a new, um, what are we going to call these guys? The, they could leave, I guess. They could go somewhere else. But I'm going to keep them somewhere close by. We'll maybe move them down this way. This will be the, the, give me, give me a good tree word. What's a good tree word? The, um, like bark or, or root or, um, thistle. This, 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 thistle, this. Thistle, thistle, pine. These are the thistle, thistle ants. Ants. Can't, almost can't say that word. Thin, thistle ants live down here in this spot. Right over here. There we go. So they've moved uh, a new faction. Sounds like a thorny situation. <laughs> Thorn hides. That's a good one, too. I'm going to give them a, a little bit different color of green. Maybe I should go with like a, a more red just so we can differentiate them. They're over here. There's a nice little war going on between these uh, these ants. There's a, there's a, a tree war. Who would have known in a, in, a, in a place like this there'd be such a tree war going on? Okay, is that everyone over on this side? Right, that's all my uh, all my, my miners on this side. So let's go over here to the right. Rhett, who we have the Tabaxi, who was a tribe as well. Let's roll the tribe. And we have a uh, another split in the Tabaxi. So some say we should take these these maggots. And others say, no, we should not take the maggots. We should go and, and leave them be. They are peaceful maggots. Um, or they could just leave altogether. How did I say that? So it's not necessarily a war. You're right. Um, but I, I, for the ends, I've decided that it is a war because it's exciting because that's the only trees in the whole map. Let's move them over. So they go across the water and maybe go over here. They're like, well, they want new lands. And they saw this stuff over here, and they're like, they just want to get away. So let's put them over here. So we got new tabaxi over here. So these are going to be the uh, um, the thorn. I, I like thorn hide just for this. These are the thorn hides. Thorn hides, thor thorn fur. Thorn fur. The thorn for cats. They're not, they're not in this tabaxi nonsense. They're cats, and they're proud of it. And the lizard folk love cats. <laughs> so this will be interesting whenever they meet each other. Let's give them a different color here with a little bit of something like... I got that one already. Let's go... Can get a brown, maybe. There we go. Thorn for cats, go over there. Okay, so now we got the lightning beetles. This is a hive. Well, the hives are kind of an exciting one, I think. Because they do a lot of a lot of that. Attack a nearby settlement. Roll a 1d6 for results. Odd settlement is destroyed, even as the town is defended. So they these lightning beetles have have charged out. Where are they going? Uh they could they could go across the water. I think they're gonna just head down here and march on Dumas. I think. So I'm gonna roll this. It is a even number, which means the town defended against it. But these beetles have have made an attack. Hostile beetles marched across the lands in a giant herd of of beetles. All you can see on the horizon is just blinky lights because of the lightning. All right, we got the, the mad the mad hermit also. Who was a mad mage? Uh, this guy. Who summons. Something terrible has been brought into the world. Draw in a new legendary monster that has this mage has summoned. So the mad hermit has brought something terrible here. So what has he summoned? We want to summon him some sort of monster. We can give him... we got a few different choices here. We can give him like a uh, like a giant. He can summon a dragon. Um, he's in like a savanna. He's also near this lake. Maybe he summoned something out of the lake. What is this? Like a big way, a big fish. Um, anyone have any suggestions for a, a a monster that was summoned by this mad hermit? I 
what do we have here? This is a dragon. Let's get this. I think he, I think he dragged a dragon. Or, or, I know what he got. He got out a the dead king, the drowned king. He pulled him out of the, out of the water. And so now we have do we have mer folk in here. We do have sort of a mer person. He dragged him out of the water. He he ran off. Uh, actually, he's just going to do it here in the water. We have that guy there. The Dread Crackle. First, you can only see the bright flashes of their electric bodies over the dunes. When night falls, it lights up the sky as a sure sign of their coming. A wise man would do well to move out of their path. <laughs> That's great. That's fantastic. Okay, so now we've got... Uh, it's great. Um, the, the Dead King is his name. Not that one. We got a new a new faction basically is what this is. Is the Drowned King is who it is. Not the guy's name. Get a little crowded in here. I was worried I went a little too big on my fonts. I think I did. The Drowned King's right there. You can kind of see him. He's kind of small, but he's in there. I'll zoom in for you. So you can see there he is. Right there. He's got he's got himself a mur a mur tail now. And uh, he, he is going to, uh, you know, do um, evil things, raise himself an army and all that. Uh, but that's that's him. We can give him a, we'll give him a region also because he is a, he's a player. Uh, I do have black right there. So let me give him just like a gray. For this guy. He kind of runs this lake over here. Like that. Actually, I think he might, maybe he'll be a little bit further south than that. He probably want to come over across the mountains. So he'll just hang out here in the lake. Like that. Okay. When you can hear them arcing out uh, out to rocks and unlucky animals, it, even each other, it's too late. The best you can do is hope for a swift end. <laughs> that's great. I love it. Okay. Uh, anyone else? We've got... That's it, right? That's all these guys? I, I just glanced. I saw a thorn for cats. I thought I thought it said thundercats, and I, I realized that's what they should have been called. Okay, down to the south. We've got these guys. Uh, we've got... We'll start to the left. we got the... Um, the Kingdom of the Red Canyon, the Yeti Folk, who is a minor kingdom. This one. Roll this guy. Is the king resentful or happy he got summoned? Uh, I don't know. We'll find. I suppose we'll find out. Uh, we got a five for the minor faction, which is an epic construction. New Mage School, Academy, Altar to a God. So, that's what we had before, isn't it? So, the... I think we're going to go like, like a war academy for these guys. These giants, maybe they want to go and build like a big castle. Right over here on the road. Sort of a construction to um, train soldiers, mighty soldiers. Maybe long in the past, the cost of sealing the drowned king away was what led to all the, the, the deserts. Uh, yeah, yeah, I kind of like it. I like it. Okay, so we'll go to the, the, the Mad Mage now. He is another one of these summoners. Who is an Alter the land. They Do they feed off the forest, kill it, raise mountains, or crack the earth with their magic? Alter the lands nearby, adding a geography or destroying part of one nearby. So this mad mage is doing something to destroy the, the land. Um, we kind of figure he's raising golems, right? So, what could he be doing? Maybe he's like raising raising mountains or something up. He could be, ra he could be raising trees. He could be raising trees. Golems core, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, I'm going to go with mountains, though. Or hills. He's raising up a bunch of hills in his wake. Uh, making a... Oh, making a land bridge is perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. Who said that? Uh, sumo Toad, that's perfect. Okay. So he has built a little bridge here to connect up to get this way. Because he... Uh, he wants this land for some reason. He's angry about these... Sunland folks. Okay, now we've got uh, the Werebears. Who is a cult, right? Epic construction. <laughs> Same one. A new dungeon, tower, or altar to a god. Draw a new construction nearby. So, what do we guys want to do? Um, maybe an altar to the god of... of... death? We already have Mount Indomitable up here. 
Forging Hearth, God of Death, God of Despair doesn't have anything. Maybe these guys, maybe Despair. Like, they, they're, these are a bunch of werebears. They're sad about it. They're going to build a temple to the God um, of Despair. Throw it over here. Throw it out here so we can see it. Right over there. The idea of these, like these little constructions and things like that, is to kind of give it, just give your map like a little bit of character. You know, like little little symbols all over it, that kind of stuff. And so you just looking at the map, you're like, oh, there's a little tower there. I wonder what that's about. And you say, oh, well, it's a temple to uh, uh, Deity, the god of despair. Because these werebears, they're sad folks. Uh, we got the Drowned Kingdom. That's the last one I think we got. And this is a minor faction here. Which is a six, which is an expand out of settlements from the settlements table. So let's roll on that and see what they have added in. Which is a six, which I think is military. I should know these things, you know. Um, but I don't. They got a, uh, a religious site. Okay. Let's see. So now we got more religion here with the Drowned Kingdom. Uh, I mean, they could worship this guy in the lake. I suppose that kind of makes sense. Somebody does. It doesn't necessarily mean that everyone does, but there is a settlement has been formed. Somebody from the uh, this place is worshipping this guy. So I'm going to put a settlement right uh, here. Like on the lake. I'm going to have to zoom in here. I'll put it right, like right there. Get a path going to it. Then we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call this one... Ooh, it's going to be tough to fit in here. Real tough to fit in here. Treat these all a little bit. And this will be... I'm just going to call this the City of the Dead. I, should, I don't know why I chose such a long word for this. Altar. Of the Dead Team. So much going on over here. It's too much. Dead rock. I like it better. Dead, dead, dead shore. Okay. Okay. There we go. Uh, and that's everything, right? That's everybody? I didn't f miss anyone? That's on the, uh, hey, everybody. Okay, so then we go into Era 5, the Age of Empires. I was rather proud of this name also, just to throw it out there. So, where last time there was a lot of uh, discovering new things, we got new, uh, we got new, new geographies. We had new, lots of new people in the in the game. This one's more about just sort of expanding and a little bit of war going on uh, with uh, with this. And also, we are now able to expand and and go across this boundary. So this path can actually go away now. I always mean to remove this because uh, it's just kind of. Gets kind of in the way, but there we go. The later map looks kind of ugly with a line on it, but now we've got a we got an open world. Anyone can go anywhere. Let's go over here. This is uh, six times on this one for the uh, for Larry on the left, and it's kind of late stream, and so I'm wondering. Actually, now we hit this point. Do we want to continue this later? Do we want to? It might be another hour before we finish this. We wrap it up now. That's the question. Let's go into space. <laughs> I kind of want to. I kind of want to do it, but maybe we should do just to get it done. Is maybe we should do a shorter one. So we'll do like four here and three in the next one, just to kind of you know kind of move things along. Um, even though this is kind of getting more exciting once you get into the higher ones, but we'll we'll see. We'll see how we go. All right, so we are now on. Uh, um, this is this is the timber archives. Roll number one. Of the Age of Empires. Appropriate for the song. And number 13, again, we got trade. Economic prosperity. Build a road connecting your empire to another faction. 
and then add a trade post somewhere along that road. So if nothing con uh, connects, we can do a trade post as well. So if they have built a trade port or a road port somewhere, we could do a big road over here, but those beetles are going to be in the way. We could try to get a road runs through here, meets up with these guys, or we could just do a trade port. Um, we already have more bay. They don't need another port. Uh, we could do one from more bay to trade to toad post. That makes sense. So let's do that. So we're going to go more bay. It's going to go. It's going to right for me. Oh. This way. We're going to go. Oh, why did I change colors? Hang on. Why did you change colors on me? Oh, I know why. Okay. So now we'll get one from toad post all the way down here into more bay. Okay. There we go. That's it. So a 14 for, this is, we're now on the, the lizard folk. We've got a 14, which is military power. Your empire needs, needs stability and security. Create a fort, city border, walls, or a barracks. Um, so I think we got to get a fort built over this way. We could also throw like a barracks in nearby. We could do city walls around my town. So if it gets attached, we can try to figure out if that breaks instead of the city. Um, Dumos already got attacked once. What are we more scared of? We're more scared of these lizard folks are in trouble. I think we're gonna build a fort actually out here. I think I'm more scared of these lizard of these beetles first than anything else. Let's get that. We're gonna put a fort. We're gonna throw it out. Just out here, kind of uh by that right there. Draw a path to it. Somebody give me a name for a fort for these lizard folk. It needs N it ends in OS. Golem's quarry is on my list here. I need to take. We need a fortress for these guys. Fort. Formicus. 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 Okay. There we go. Uh, and then we can actually go in here and grab this. And expand them, because they've expanded. Uh, now we're on to Sophia to the south. We got a 15, which is a gifted academy. Your empire has cultivated a new craft, art, or ability. Spellcasters, researchers, monks, druids, what are they? Build a new academy, sanctuary, or library for this group and place the new settlement. So this is like a special class of people from the Sunlands that, um, that have gone and built a, uh, like a, you know, like an academy of some kind or a, um... Some sort of special school, Hogwarts, that kind of a thing. So, uh, what are we gonna do with these these humans? These are like Egyptian type humans. I mean, it makes sense that we put in some sort of like big pyramid, uh, which I don't have. I don't think there is a pyramid in here. I do have like a little house though, so we can do this and set it up. We'll put it over. If the ruins of Red Rock, maybe in the maybe in the canyon they can go. I don't know. We'll just take it off the kind of off the side, right there. Oops. It doesn't look like a pyramid, but it's kind of a pyramid. Let's take a path to it. What is an academy of? Is it maybe a it, probably military? These guys are getting destroyed. So some sort of military academy. So we'll say it's it's a uh, academy of. Um, of the, 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 the sand, the sand spears. That's the name of their people, the, the of their, the, their fighters. Right over there. Okay, so that's, uh, that's, that's one. We're on, we're on round two now. We have a nine, which is settlers leave. We get a new faction. So the the rat folk, some of your people have set out on their own. Roll on the settlement charts and place a new faction onto the map. Be sure to give them a banner and name. Okay, so we're gonna give them a new settlement, which is a four. Uh, is that what I, right? Right. Settlers leave on the settlement charts, which is here. So we get a four. So we get a trade post. Uh, I think that, is that written in there right? There's so many times, and I don't know. How I think that's right. Settlement charts. Place a new faction. I think I had the wrong chart written there. Yeah. 
I think it's, it's backwards. So I'm supposed to, you're supposed to, yeah, I got it backwards. You roll a faction and then give them a settlement. So we're going to give a, we'll put a capital in, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember what I was trying to say on this one. I'll go and edit this one. <laughs> uh, there's going to be a market somewhere. Some of our rat folk have left. That's the point of it. We're we'll putting a new faction out for these, these timber archives have left. They don't like these ints. They don't like the dirt. They don't like the beetles. But there's a nice forest down here that they're okay with. So we're going to move down this way. Okay. And we'll give them a star. It's embarrassing whenever you are uh, you can't figure out your own game. Let's go something like over here. In the Garu Forest. Right there. We're going to name this town Golem's Quarry? I'm going to save that for a minute. I'm still going to save that because this is going to be Garu's post or something. Um, I need to get a label for these guys. So this is... Um, these are the new rat folk who've moved south to Garu. Garu is going to be the name of the town. Just Garu. And we're going to call these, these rats. These were the timber archives. They are now known as... I'm going to call them Timber Archives. Um, still like a woody name or um, or a rat name. Woodtail Republic. It's a republic of rat folk. Woodtail. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. Um, and we'll give them a, uh, a symbol of... That's a, that's a tree. Maybe they want something a little different. Oh, you know what? I, I know something we can do. We could do something like this with a little different tree. Here we go. We'll give them a color. We want... They're purple already, so let's get like a little bit of a... Um, that's... Squeak hive. <laughs> that's pretty good. Matt, we're going to stick them just right over here. They've left. They're in Garu now. Okay. Now, we got to go... That was two, so we're going to be over to the right. We're going to go to the lizard folk who've rolled a nine, which is another one. Settlers leave. Again. Uh, so let's move these lizard folk out somewhere. They're leaving because there's beetles. There's, uh, there's a mad king. We're leaving. We're going across the waters. We saw these powdered dunes over here. We're sailing away. Or this river. So, and they really like cats these lizard folk. So we're going to live by these cats. We're going to put them on this side. We'll go on this side just to respect the cats. And I want to give them a, um, a name. They're going to name themselves after... They're going to call this... This name of this town is, is uh, Dervish... Dervishes. I think. Thanks, Team Tuco. Dervish, dervish, dervicious. Sounds like you're trying to say delicious. Dervicious. Uh, and this is going to be the name of this. We get a new empire. So this is Dervish, uh, Dervish, the um, Free Dervish. Free. No, no, no. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to grab one that's right over here, and it's going to be... Those aren't very good. Violet Wallow. I like it. Violet Wallow. This is the name of their kingdom. So we had a... Uh, the, the lizard folk have left, and they formed a new kingdom over here. Violet Wallow. And they, these guys really like cats, remember. So we're going to give them a little symbol like that. I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe um, that's going to be the symbol. Whatever it is, that's what it is. And uh, they're going to have... What color are they going to be? Violet. Probably violet. Here in Dervishes. Oh, 
Oops. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. They love these cats. They love them. So they've moved over there. They've left their old home where it's terrible. And this whole god of dead and all that. They're, they're leaving out. Okay, so now we got to go south. This is uh, Sophia. Sophia got a nine again. How many times have I rolled the same number over and over again? What luck. So anyway, these humans have moved out. That's fine. Uh, they kind of need to because they're in bad shape. So we'll give a new, a new human kingdom. We got these guys over here. These guys have actually just left. So I think they're going to leave and head over to these pearl frogs. Over here in the mountains next to the pearl frogs right there. And the name of this kingdom is going to be... Um, the Pearl Kingdom. I mean, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Pearl Kingdom? Pearl... Pearl... Um... I always like trying to think of a better name than Kingdom, but Kingdom's always one that works. Pearl... Enclave. That's good. That's good. Or oh, it doesn't even have to have a name. It could just be Pearl. The name of the, name of the place is just Pearl. You know what? That's not bad. Pearl. I'm sticking with it. Give them a symbol, and we will give them a pearl looking thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Right there. Pearl. There they are. Uh, I need a name of the town, too. Which we're going to call... We're going to take this one and then that. Pearl... Uh, Pearloa. With an, with the, we're still going to do the OA thing. Yeah, the humans... The humans are... They are they aren't real creative. They just sort of, you know... They see things and they're like, yeah, that's... Sure. That, that's a good, good name for it. Uh, these are kind of an orangey color... I'll stick something like that. That's actually pretty good. So here's Pearl, and they live right over here. Okay. Uh, I think I can turn this off, I think. I don't remember how to do it. There's a way of turning off these little load symbols. Maybe it's only when you save it. These things go off. I don't remember. There's a way of turning them off. Somehow. But. Um, yeah, anyway. Okay, so uh, there's there's uh, Perloa, who, who moved down south. We're on, this is phase three now. For for the Timber Archive. We have rolled a 10. Ex uh, expedition. Fleet of ships or military caravan is set out to gain a foothold in distant lands. Place a new coastal fort. These are the Timber Archive. Rat folk. Or a frontier outpost, preferably in another home region. So it wants them to leave and cross over the boundaries into another region. So I think these guys could do that because they can go. We got more Garia here. We could hop on some boats from anywhere, really. Um, I could go here. It wants me to leave and to go to a different, a different region, which I think I like. So you could sail up here and, and get a foothold way up here in the north. Or we could just even just go down this way and, and grab this side over here. Hmm. Or, this is the other side. Maybe we just go right here. Just go across the lake and go right in this way. Have I read something of Brandon Sanderson? I don't know. I don't think so. Doesn't sound familiar. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna expand them. I'm gonna go rather than doing like a um, a big expedition. They're gonna come and they're gonna make their way over this way. Which is technically in the other region. And they're just going to expand out this way. And we're going to put a settlement there. Right over here on the other side of this this lake. Yeah, they said they got into the lake. They walked over here, got in the lake, and they crossed over. And they're like, look at this giant ocean. Oh. And they, just, they, they realized what they actually found. Okay. Oh, is that is that Wheel of Time? Is that who Brandon Sanderson? I sorry, I don't know my authors very well. I've I've I used to listen to books all the time when I would when I would drive. Um, I I didn't pay much attention to, 
to who wrote the books. I, I, I read a lot of books, or listened. But I don't know who it is. Okay, so this is going to be more... Uh, more, uh, um, oh, Robert Jordan died. He, okay, I gotcha. Um, more east, but Morist. Morist is the name of this place. Okay. Now we've got next. This is, this is round three, right? We got a seven. This is a hostile attack. Nearby fossil forces has uh, attacked. Why do I keep getting the same ones every time? Uh, it's got to be these beetles. Destroy a fort, claim it for the invaders. I think, yeah, I think these uh, these beetles are just are just growing. So let's just grab this. Oops. Grab this. Anyone uh, watch the new Wheel of Time series on uh, on Amazon? I saw it didn't get the best reviews. I saw well, I saw some things that said okay, other things didn't. I was debating whether, whether I wanted to watch it or not. I think the Beatles have made their way, like, all the way here. They, they've, they've taken the fort. They don't, you know, it's just basically just a ruin. They're not actually using the fort. They're, be they're, be they're Beatles. The dead, the dead Crackle is, uh, the Dread Crackle. Yeah, I gotta give him, that's a good name. I'm gonna take it. The, the Dread Crackle. I like it. That. Give a little bit of curve to it. There we go. And this is going to just be the hive. Okay. Start compiling this stuff somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I want undecided. Let's see where they take it. How many episodes are out so far? Three? How many are they going to be doing? It's also a question. Okay, go south. Sophia rolled a 13, which is a trade. Economic prosperity. So these guys have got some prosperity. I think I'm going to go with uh, with the rat folk. The humans and the rat folk have, have joined forces. Or they could trade with their butt with their own people. Um, I think I want to go... Let's see. Uh, I'm supposed to put a trade post in. I didn't do that before, did I? Um, so we can come out here and build a road that goes around the, or through the canyon and put a post at the canyon post spot. Three out of ten. Okay. Oh, they are already already doing the second one. I'm gonna pearl over. I'm gonna go this way. Where's my? Hat? I'm gonna go here. We're gonna go through the canyon. And back out because we found these rat folks. We're going to trade with them. And we also get a trade post along with it. So we'll put a post right here on the canyon. It's kind of dangerous, you know? Get your supplies before you head through the canyon. And we're going to name this. We're going to name this. Are you ready? Who asked for this one? Oh, Wild Harley asked for this a long time ago. Golem's Quarry. And it's all the wrong color. It's just a trade post, but that's just what they call it. There we go. Man, your, your skull is so quick. <laughs> I get this thing's worth taking off. I could just do it myself, but you're quick. Okay, so this is round four. This is our final round of this phase. We're going to do this. We're moved over to the short, short phase. Um, so I can go to bed sometime tonight. Okay, 11. We've got to expand. Empire's growing. Rolling the settlement table. Excellent. Let's uh, let's grow. This is the 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 rat folk are growing. They're doing pretty good. So they've rolled up a um, this one a trade post. They already got one there. I think maybe we'll put one on the other side of the water because they got to get some trade going. I'm you know it's silly to have to go all the way over here. We could expand up here, but I think putting something on this side makes sense. Something like, let's do it over over here though, because we can get kind of double whammy. We can maybe trade with the Garu, who uh, who are our own kin. 
as well as the uh, as the humans. Let's expand their region a little bit. Like that. Okay. Uh, okay, get a name for it. Morse Morseth. Mudtail Post. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to keep an M O R on all of them. More Tail Post. I like that. Okay. Um, now we've got uh, Rhett on the right with a nine, which is uh, Settlers Leave again. You know what? These these uh, um, lizard folk. It's just a terrible place. Let's go send them. I think. I think I go. Maybe they joined forces with the Mad Hermit. I mean, he's raising this dead guy, and he's just uh, bad and bad news. So maybe they're gonna move on down here. Kind of open spot over there, so we'll put him over there. Get away from these guys. New capital in. And they're gonna go. Oh, where the Crystal Geyser is. That's where they wanna go. Right over here. <clears throat> okay, and then we've got a name for these for these new crystal lizards. Crystal crystal scale um, empire. I mean, these guys these guys are, uh, they already have an empire. Crystal scale. Um, I'm gonna just stick with kingdom. I spend more time. Trying to think about my my suffix. Anything else? So they'll go there, and we'll give them a symbol of a crystal if we can find one. Let me find something a little cooler. There's pretty neat things in here. Let's give them a a uh, a dome, uh, a bat, a pumpkin. Does anyone have? No one has a pumpkin yet. Let's give them a pumpkin. It's a crystal pumpkin. There we go. Brine scales. Ooh, that's good. Brine scales gonna be the name of the name of the town. Brine scale, right there. Okay, and we gotta give him a color. I need I need more colors. My color wheel isn't big enough. Do we have a pink. We don't have like a like a hot pink yet. I don't need to go that far out. Prime scale's right there, and these are the crystal scale kingdom. <clears throat> okay. So that is uh that's them. And let's go with Sophia down here to the south, who rolled an eleven, which expands. They're gonna roll on the table. And this is these are these guys finally expanding. They've had a rough time, but they finally expanded out. They got themselves a military fort. Of course they do. I forgot to move their their label here. They have expanded. The Golem's Quarry. This is kind of a dangerous road, so it might be a good idea to have a fort there. However, there is a problem with uh, the Mad Mage to the south. So do we put a canyon uh, a fort in the canyon, or do we stick one down here? And where South Fort used to be. I think they gotta put one down south. If they get attacked, it's gonna be bad news. By that mad mage who built a land bridge to get to him. So we'll a new one here by the, uh, but kind of by the academy. A new fort. And uh, we need a name for a, a good fort for the, for the humans. The Egyptian style humans. We're just gonna call this place Sandstone is the name of it. Sandstone. For that fort. Okay, so now let's go back up Bracken Water. I kinda like that too. Uh this is this is oh wait, 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 that was it. That was it. That was four. So ignore that. So now we're going into um neighbors develop. 
So we're going to roll on each of these once. We'll go to the, we'll start with the top. So we'll go to the kobolds, who are going to give me a five. No, so there's no dwarves or elves in this whole world. How'd that happen? An epic construction. So the, no, no, no. This is a hive. Or a tribe. A shrine. That's more like it. New sanctuary, grove, or sexual sacrificial la uh, altar. What are the kobolds going to build? They got this mithril here. I think we're going to give them... What do kobolds want? Like a big statue of a dragon. If they take all these rocks and they make themselves a big dragon statue. Not that they... There's no dragon that lives there. They just wish they had a dragon living there. That's what kobolds do. So build a little statue of a dragon right here. On this mountain. Right there. It's kind of hard to see. And we click a bunch. Is that <laughs> easier to see? No, yeah, we don't... No elves. Elves... There's no trees for the elves anyway. So they've built a uh, an altar to a dragon who doesn't exist. I really have a lack of monsters in this one this time. Uh, next up, we have the the Kingdom of Toad people who have expanded. So we're gonna roll and see what kind of settlement they built. I need, to, I, need to, I think I need to have like this 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 page in multiple sections because it seems like we always come back to that one. Uh, food. So they're gonna give them some food. The frog people are gonna build a farm or maybe a, maybe a fishing post. I'm going to put them... I'm going to expand them properly. So let's get them, like, over this way. All right, you know what? Let's go over here. Nothing going on there. Let's get some expansion. Like that. Okay. <clears throat> Great hatchery. Yeah, what do we call this place? We call this. We call this. Uh, just gonna be called the hatch. Like something from Lost. Okay, so that's that. We gotta get the Darkwood Ents, which is a tribe. We're in this one, right? Yeah, this one. Who rolled a swarm? Uh, not that one. Uh, expand out of settlement for the the ants. The ants have grown. So let's do um, that. Let's expand them over this. We we'll can just go this way. We'll, we'll go. You know, we'll go into these ruins. We'll expand those ruins. I'm going to keep the name the ruins because they're ants. They're proud of their conquest. You guys and the rats don't get along too well. Okay. And then we got another one. We got another uh, tribe here in the Thistle Ents. Um, let's see. Got an advancement. Strong leadership has taken control of the tribe. Upgrade to a minor faction by giving them a banner and a name. So the Thistle Ents have have uh, formed a, uh, a kingdom of tree people. This is the, the the thistle. What do you call a, a thistle empire of, of woods? This thistle wood thistle forest. That's who they are. Of course, they're going to get a tree. Which I have a lot of trees already. We're going to do this one. That's good. They're going to be... We already have... They're kind of a... Um, um, look at that color. So these... Uh, the Darkwood Ents, they're big, but they're just sort of a disorganized tribe kind of thing. But the uh, the Thistle Ents are a proper kingdom. Which I think I just... Oh yeah, just give them a banner and a name. So they are a proper faction of... They're like building towns and all that kind of stuff. Um, we got Garu down here, which is uh, the Woodtail Republic, which is part of um, uh, these rat folk. They were a, a faction. Triumvirate. Uh, we've got a, a faction. Uh, colonize. Build new coastal settlements nearby shore. Garu has grown. We're going to sail. Do we want to sail like a long way out? 
we can move them down here near near where Pearl is. I think so. So Garu has moved down this way. Put him like uh, right there. And we'll name this the name for the this is the Woodtail Republic. Uh, this is this is going to be Tail Tail Shore. It's the same folks, so we're just going to build them another one of these, like that. Okay, uh, and that's all of them correct. Okay, let's go over here. We've got the hive. Let's do the hive. I like the hive. Five. We've got a spawn. So the hive has bred an incredible new foe. Is it the queen or something entirely new? Create a legendary monster near the hive. Is this an ally or enemy? So we've got a new monster. So these these the dread crackle uh, have is it crackle or cackle? Now that I wrote that, I'm, I'm questioning myself. Have 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 come together and and bred a uh, a monstrous beetle. Uh, the great plasma beetle. Yes, the great plasma beetle. It looks like uh, we don't have a plasma beetle looking thing. We're gonna put this thing in there and say and pretend like it is. It's gonna come. It's, it's gonna move its way up to. I can just live in here. Maybe they maybe they bred it at the hive. Makes sense. Let's we'll stick them over here, like that. And there's a the great plasma beetle. Artillery bugs and starship troopers. Yeah, this is the big guy. This is like the this is the boss. Um, we're, gonna, we're just, just going to call him Plasma. He has one name. His name is Plasma. That's who that is. <clears throat> oh, he leaves footprints of glass as it lumbers south. That's fantastic. That's great. <laughs> that's perfect. Okay, now uh, that's that. We got to go to the uh, Dervish, uh, the Violet Wallow, who is a a faction. And they have a two, which is colonized. They're going to go move somewhere else. Uh, it seems silly to move back over here. Colonized. Coastal settlement nearby shore. On a nearby island, preferably. Dangerous places to be going. Maybe they're, uh, maybe they're like traders or something, or they want to go. I'm going to move them. Um, I think we're going to come over here. This way. So let's throw in this. Yep, just world building fun today. We're gonna come up here. Oh, that's too tiny. And we'll name it. Wallow, Wallow Shore. Whoops, Make the right name. Wallow Shore. And that. Okay, so now we got the uh, the Tabaxi over here, who are um, Silver Tabaxi and the Thorn. We have all three of these guys are different. Down River, yeah, I got colonized though, so they've they've sailed out in their boats. Not a, it's not an expansion kind of thing. We're gonna we're gonna obey the dice gods today. We're gonna stick with the Silk, silk, silk Fur Tabaxi tribe. Which is an advancement, so they have actually turned into a kingdom of Tabaxi. They have grown. Uh, let me do that with. Um, another one. I want this one. The silk fur. This is this is it. This is it. What's a what's a, what's a what's a herd of cats? What do you what do you call a group of cats? Is it it's not a herd? Um, a um, a, the, the silk fur purr they call themselves. I'll stick this. I'm running out of room here. Put it over here though. A pride? Is it a pride? Is that what you call it? 
I'll give these guys a skull. <laughs> there we go. And then uh, they. I don't know what happens here. Just just that. Okay. Maybe oh yeah, it's, it's a pride a pride of lions. Uh, I guess I guess cat would be the same thing. So we got the this is the th the thorn fur cats, who uh, who's also a uh, tribe. It's a war path, war. Select a neighbor and roll on the war table. All right. So the, finally we got some war going on. So the cats, the thorn fur thorn fur cats. Who are they gonna go after? They gotta go after the beetles, I think. They're gonna march march over this way and try to try to take some of these beetles out, or do they want to march on the lizard folk? They gotta go for the beetles. That's this, this is just a problem. So we're gonna go to the war chart, which I finally get to use, which is down here this way. So we're roll d6. The cats are the attacker. They get a three. They get a pyrrhic victory. Attacker narrowly wins, but the settlement is destroyed and replaced with a ruin. So they've destroyed this whole area. But basically, all they did. Oops. Is they came in here and they just pushed back these beetles a little bit. Just to kind of push them back. And I'm going to say these guys grew a lot. No settlements, but they just sort of expanded their, their grasp. These warpath cats. There we go. They did a big, a big excursion out there, came back victorious. They lost a few cats along the way, but they did it. Okay, so now we've got uh, the Crystal Scale Kingdom, which are lizard folk. Which have got an expanse. We're going to give them a, a, a settlement. They have added on a trade post. So we'll go trade with... we we'll trade with the Hermit. Maybe we'll do like a port. And they can trade with these the cats up here. Let's take it over there. We'll get a path going up to that. Right. And we'll throw in a... Um, town here. Oops. Crystal port. Right there. And let's uh, let's expand these guys. The fur helps them protect from the static discharges. <laughs> right over there. Okay, there's our there's our crystal scale kingdom. Now we get the mad hermit. Let's see who he's got. He has... Where is he? He is this guy. He's got minions, whether by choice or by force. A group of followers has joined to build a settlement camp nearby. So the Mad Hermit has grown. He's he's gathered up some folks in these parched lands here, and he's got himself a settlement of... of Whether you know whether choice or not, he's got himself a group of folks that want to follow him. I'm going to throw him here in the mountains over this way. And we're going to expand that. Um, like down here. I'm just going to connect them all. Kind of. Mm, if I should delete, del just delete this one. Expand this one. Old today, the Mad Hermit has grown a lot. My music is over. He hopped over the mountains and he's got all this gathered up. Mm -mm. Rhine scale is uh it's it's supposed to be kind of a port city. Yeah, they got two ports now. Um do that again, I guess. Okay, so there we go. The um I don't have a name for that one. You know one thing we can do here in this game, which is great, which I completely forgot is a thing in Wonder Draft. So those of you who are thinking Wonder Draft is great, just wait for it, because we can just do this and we can say, just give me one. Uh, how do you do it this way? Yeah, Ink Scott. That's the name of it. Ink Scott. My symbol is a little off the water, isn't it? So let me move that. There we go. Closer. Okay, so that is that guy. We got to get the uh, the monster of the uh, the lake, the drowned king. What does he do? 
this time. Uh, monster, monster, monster. There he is. He built a lair. Monster is settle settling in. They or their followers are creating a proper lair or den. Draw in a home cave or tower or sanctum. So somebody has done something. Clearly these, these dead shore folks have done something for this guy. So we're going to give him a lair of a cave, I think. There's a cave in here. Like that. Maybe we'll, is there a, there's a good waterfall one. Tuck that in there. There we go. Uh, like a nice waterfall for that guy. It's in his realm. Sure. He needs a throw and he needs a waterfall. Okay, so now we're on... That's all them, right? I didn't miss anybody. Uh, down south, we gotta go to... Uh, we'll go with... We'll start with Eric the Mad Mage first. Who has uh, gained some minions. So, what's what we just hit? No, no, this one. Uh, corruption. Spell gone wrong. Plague or darkness evolving. Something has escaped and is pillaging the nearby land. Darken the land, kill the forests, and taint the water supplies on your map. So the Mad Mage has uh, has done something terrible. So let's go and paint this black. Like the Rolling Stones. He's doing some bad things and the land is starting to suffer for it. These mana pits. Bad, bad things. Oh, <laughs> Eric. Oh, Eric. Okay. Um, so we got that. We got uh, per the Pearl Place. No, let's get the Werebears. They are a... What are they? Cult. Worship. Draw on a temple nearby. If you haven't already, select a god, create a new one. So they've got to go worship somebody. We already got a temple for them. They're worshiping uh, the... Um, uh, old Deity here, the God of Despair. So we're going to build another one of those. Because they love Deity. Ain't nothing better than Deity. I already have a thing there, so I'm just going to give him a town. Like a proper settlement there for uh, for where this Deity worshipping goes. Right there. We'll call this the... Um, let me delete that. Temple of uh, Deidei. Right there. Right there. Okay. Let's go expand this a little bit. Grab all that. Okay. That's that one. We gotta get Perloa, which is a minor faction. That reminds you of Kenshi. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, this is a minor faction. We've got a four, which is a fortified. Draw on a new fort, outpost, or walls. So Pearl, uh, Pearl Oa has built a fort. Yeah, they got to deal with this mad mage nonsense. So they got to put a fort. They've grown and added a fort in. Probably somewhere down, like, here to protect their frog interests. Like that. I'm going to name it with this. I'm going to call it Pegaloft. <laughs> These were uh, humans, right? So they they pick weird names. That's perfectly fine. I like that. Maybe we'll grow them a little bit. There we go. We'll give them a path. Pearly Gates. Nice. And then the last one we have is the Kingdom of Red Canyon. Who has given us a five, which is epic construction. Again, they've already got one of those. Uh, they're gonna do another one though. And they've got a like a, a fortress for their, their fighting. And they're gonna do another fortress of fighting, I guess. They can maybe worship somebody. Hmm. I'm just going to give him a, a tower for um, over here at Sandfoot in the desert there. A bridge across the canyon. Oh, you know what? That's good. That's good. That's good. There's bridges in here too. Where does it meet up good? There we go. Nice. Okay. 
They can get across the canyon now. Nothing over there. It's an imaginary forest. But they made it. Okay. Uh, now, we're on the last phase. What time is it? Ooh, it's late. Okay. I'm going to call it here because I have to get to bed. It's very late. <laughs> So we've got one more ra one more era to go. This went a little longer than I was expecting. I spent a lot more time uh, coming up with names and drawing drawing this stuff in. So it's fine. It's fine. So uh, we're gonna go into era five, the last era. Uh, sorry, era six, the rise and fall. This is where things start falling apart. Uh, monsters come out of the ground. Cataclysms happen. Wars happen. This is when all the bad stuff starts happening. And and we'll 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 do that. Uh, on another stream next time. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'll probably I'll probably save this. I might stick this stream on my other channel, and I'm going to do a, yeah I'm going to do a time lapse after I do the next one. I'll combine them both, do a time lapse. I think that's what I want to do. But it's very late, and I can I can feel the lateness, which normally I can't because when I stream normally I'm I'm pretty awake, but I'm starting to feel it. So <laughs> so I'm going to go to bed. Uh, and, and we'll do this again some other time. The next official stream is going to be on, uh, well, D&D night is Friday. And then Saturday night is the next, or Sunday morning is the next official one. I'll probably have one in, sometime in there. But it's always fun doing this. And I look forward to finishing it up. Um, I'll go ahead and post this map uh, on the Discord. I'll make it nice and big. I uh, probably can't go that big, actually. We'll do, uh, let me just do a jpeg we'll do two upscale jpeg and i'll i'll put it on the um the discord so if you haven't joined the discord uh there's a link uh down there and uh, for that um there it is bot ross what timing buddy thanks buddy um uh, and, and then we'll wrap this thing up so Thanks for hanging out, everybody, for so long. It's been a very long stream, and uh, i got to find someone to go and raid, and, and we'll wrap this thing up. I'm going to get a drink, too, because I'm thirsty. I did a lot of talking today. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me find someone to, put, to, to raid.